Yes, McDaddies, it is I, your McDonald's cheerleader, bringing you the finest of fine dining. This is going to be our most liked video because if you like McDonald's, press the like button. And I don't know a single person who doesn't love McDonald's. I don't really love McDonald's, Donald. See, there will always be some people who lie to themselves and say they never crave that sweet McDonald's juice. McDonald's grease, you mean? Oh, God, I hate hearing Donald back to back like that. I love it, McDonald's, that is, Donald. Ronald Donald's McDonald is the dog gone mickety best. This is going to be a terribly long video, I see. First up, we have a curveball, apple pie. Bussin' so bussin' a wig just turned my head into a skin fade with curly hair. Gotta go S tier, bro. I never go to McDonald's without that apple pie. Yeah, I remember the guys on Epic Meal Time were really fond of apple pies. In reality, I'd go a tier. It's a pretty damn good apple pie, especially if you bring it home and put some ice cream on top. You're the type to put ice cream on your McDonald's apple pies, Obama. You the type to lather your french fries in chocolate sauce and eat an entire Caesar salad with blue cheese dressing beforehand, Donald, you fat fuck. I don't know about all that, but I did see him dip his french fries into a large vanilla frosty while washing it down with a large chocolate frosty. But hold up, Barack. You really the type to put ice cream on a McDonald's apple pie, bro? What is wrong with that? Tisk, bro. Nah, bro. Just not. The apple pie is going into B tier. Although tasty, it's not enough McDonald's calories for me, so I would rather get the milkshakes, which are liquid and quicker to stuff my trachea with. Milkshakes, though, must go S. No complaints about that. Not going to lie to you, bro. Didn't ask. Okay, moving on, we have the McChicken. The McChicken is nasty, bro. I'm not a peasant. I'm the president. It's just such a basic chicken sandwich, and I feel like since you know it's fake chicken, you might as well go get a real chicken sandwich somewhere else. Not even basic. It just flat out sucks for real. This sandwich is so... Not McDonald's, Donald. Shut the fuck up, you lying son of a bitch. Holy. The McChicken is the most iconic McDonald's item next to the cheeseburger, in my opinion. It's always the number two or three option on the menu because it doesn't try too hard to be something it's not. Literally, the definition of a typical but perfected chicken sandwich. Donald, I truly think your love for McChickens is why you lost the election to me. You don't love the country as much as your McChickens. Hey, watch your mouth. I love this country more, yawn anyone. Nobody loves this country more than me. Okay, so step off, pal. The McChicken is going into B tier because that's what the universe prescribes for it. Next up, we have the McNuggets. Bro, this is white people shit for real, for real. Y'all don't know what good chicken is. Y'all, shut the fuck up, Obama chicken nuggies, RS tier. See what I mean? You even call them nuggies like a typical piece of white trash, which is actually a great way to describe these nuggets. Trash tier. Obama. You need to settle down, okay, before I just ignore your opinion altogether. That's not the point of a tier list, Trump. He's right, Trump. What's the point of doing a tier list if you don't respect Michelle Obama's opinion? I can if the opinions are dog shit. But it would be a logical fallacy to disrespect Obama's opinion now, wouldn't it, gentlemen? Plus, I'm still waiting for a 100-piece McNuggets to release, so we'll go for a healthy A tier. Next up, we have the filet of fish The filet of fish is pretty nasty. Don't know who orders seafood from McDonald's. What kind of fish is this anyway? Keep it cool, Donald. Just relax, fucking dipshit head ass. Oh no, how the fuck could he? Just think nice thoughts, nice thoughts. The filet of fish is okay, just a little bit bland. Fuck both of you. The filet of fish at McDonald's is the best filet of fish there is. Fast, good, and otherwise, you can't tell me otherwise. This hatred for my precious Mickey D's classics hurts my soul. I'm going S tier, and I'm never going back. Okay, jerk offs, let's do the Orange french man fries angry. next. Fuck you, Joe. Donald's McDonald's has been disrespected. I can understand why you're mad, Trump, and I'm sorry. You can put the fries into S tier, and I take back what I said, because if I could ear just one thing for the rest of my fucking life, it would be McDonald's fries. That's right, bitch. You can't look a McDonald's French fry in the eye and hate on McDonald's. I concur. Let's go, S tier. The perfect consistency and saltiness every time, and that perfect skinny girth is mouthwatering. It is. I'm drooling right now. Can you two gay French fry looking asses? Just put this into S tier already. What's next, holy shit? Patience, Obama, the Don cannot be pressured. S tier it goes. Bye bye, little birdie. Okay, next let's rank the cookies and cream pie. These are a huge letdown. It's giving cookies and cream Pop Tart vibes, but tasting like Satan's S crack. Yeah, it's really more like a bland cream pie than cookies and cream flavor. Pales in comparison to the apple pie. As soon as I had this, I was so disappointed I had to throw out the other 42 I ordered. Trash tier for sure. What do we think about the vanilla cone? It's not vanilla. It's called lacking chocolate chips ice cream. I'm going B tier. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. I swear I was just going to say B tier. It's a solid vanilla cone. Much better than expected, but it's not soft serve. 
You guys realize they use a soft serve ice cream machine for the cones, right? You guys are so stupid. Well, then the machine is overused, Donald, because it tastes like shit. Triggered. Everything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. Trump, don't you have enough libel lawsuits on people tarnishing the McDonald's name? For real, man's is suing over an ice cream cone. Who does that? It's not about the ice cream cone, Barack. It's about the principle. Yeah, well, if it don't leak, it's weak, and this cone doesn't leak that much. Too much space between the ice cream and the cone, usually. If it don't leak, it's weak. Nice slogan. I can get behind that. B tier for vanilla soft serve. All right, staying on topic here, we have the McFlurries. S tier, you know, I get a McFlurry at least 25% of the time I go to McDonald's. So maybe like once every two years. Michelle has about 50 vegan recipes for this shit, and none of them have any merit. That's pathetic. Which Doesn't your ass hurt from being so whipped, Obama? Doesn't your ass hurt from all the McDonald's and coffee you consume? Yes, but we don't talk about that, Obama. Can you put McFlurries into S tier now? Pretty pleased with a cherry on top? I'm caught a bit off guard. Okay, S tier for the McFlurry. What do we think about the chocolate chip cookie? Mid as hell. Shut your pie hole. Obama chocolate chip cookies have chocolate chips in them, so they should be A tier by association. The chocolate chip cookie is pretty decent. However, they also have the cookie tote, which has 13 cookies inside. How the hell are you going to consume 13 cookies in one sitting? With lots of shame, Obama. It's really a mid chocolate chip cookie. I'll be honest with myself and go C tier. What do we think about the Big Mac? The Big Mac Miller is my favorite sandwich. The Big Mac is a burger, Joe, not a sandwich. A burger is a type of sandwich, Donald, you idiot. Ooh, this is a great debate. Is a burger a sandwich? This is not a debate. I repeat, this is not a debate. The Big Mac is the face of McDonald's. I'm surprised that it's not orange. No, no, we can't all be as orange as me. This burger is the best in-house specialty a restaurant can offer. All of the symmetry that comes with a cheeseburger, the perfect bun free of blemishes, the perfect fig of the burger inside the bun, lettuce, tomato. It's a full-spectrum hearty meal. I'm about to fall asleep. You're always asleep, Joe. The Big Mac is definitely iconic, but more of a branding play. Personally, I like the Quarter Pounders and the Cheeseburgers more than the Big Mac, so I'd go A tier or B tier. You like the basic-ass cheeseburger more than the Big Mac? Yeah, that doesn't make sense, Obama. If the Big Mac wasn't on the menu, I would barely have as much fun ordering from McDonald's. Gotta go S tier. What do you think about the Triple Cheeseburger? You have to be as fat as Donald to actually order these. Or you could just be really hungry. Uh, the McDonald's triple cheeseburger is a really filling burger, very hefty, but it's exactly what I look for when I'm exceptionally hungry. Michelle be looking like a triple cheeseburger, I guess. If you were super hungry, why wouldn't you just get a 10-piece McNugget with your meal? Anyway, this burger is pretty trash, guys. I'm thinking C tier. Going straight into A tier. I always include a couple of these in my order. Okay, next we have the quarter pounder. Hey, what's the difference between this and a regular cheeseburger? Oh, and Trump, I just realized the McChicken is called the McCrispy now, so I don't think you should be the McDonald's spokesperson anymore. What, have you seen this perfectly round stomach? I'm more golden than the golden arches, bro. Get off my dick. The Quarter Pounder, as far as meat goes, has more meat than the double cheeseburger, so you always get more bang out of your buck. As far as meat goes, Obama, I'd say you know your way around some meat better than both of us. The Quarter Pounder is solid, but there's too much confusion and similarity when comparing this to other burgers. I'm going to go D tier because there are usually some vegetables on this burger, and the other ones are just better. Speaking of which, following that up with the cheeseburger, which I'm putting in S tier and not hearing any appeals. Anyway, drop an eggplant emoji in the comments if you think Obama has meat in his mouth right now. And I'm gone. You know we had Joe rank two in a row, so fuck it. Maybe third time is the charm. Hit the like button to help me through this sleepy moderator. Let's go, Brandon. I have him on my fantasy team. Joe, haven't you read the newspapers in the last two years? No, but I've gone to a lot of middle school football games. They really love supporting that guy, Brandon. He has so many fans. Can't tell if serious or dementia. Dementia for sure, bro. Did I dimension this dick? Joe, that doesn't even make sense. Hey, my ears. Let's dimension the flat brim, shall we, bro, bro? Dead ass, B. Yo, dead ass, dead ass, bro. Dead ass. How do we feel about beanies? Beanies make anyone look 100 times uglier. Not the Lincoln Park guy. What about Lil Xanax? Oh, true. The, the beanies are cute on girls, though. No, Biden, it may be cute for your virgin brain, but to me, it just lets me know where the dumb hoes are. Trump, you jump to conclusions faster than Jada Smith. Funny you would me that since you literally look exactly like her. Oh, no cap. Here, let me put on my beanie. See, Trump, I look fine.
and definitely not like Jada Smith. I can't unsee it, Obama, and I said what I said. Deal with it. Okay, Obama, he's right. I really can't unsee it. Uh, what did you do to your hair? Oh, fuck this stupid beanie. You guys should go fuck yourselves. Beanies get a B tier from me if anyone even gives a shit. Obama, that was what I was going to say. They keep you warm, and if there is a hood over the beanie, it looks like a bandana, which is what Corn Pop would wear when we would raid the saloon. Okay, put them in a bussy tier. What do you guys think about cowboy hats? Cowboy hats are pretty awesome. Please, we already know Brokeback Cowboy is your favorite movie. It is not. Donald, my favorite movie is Get Hard. Hear me out. The cowboy hat is a symbol of masculinity, class, and rowdiness. Any true legend will tell you they've worn a cowboy hat at least a couple of times. Are you referring to yourself or? Yeah, definitely some projecting going on. I'm sure gay cowboy fantasies get you going, Obama. Cowboy hats are cool if you're the only one wearing one, but once a bunch of people are in the bar with you and they all have massive cowboy hats, you start to slap hats into each other every time you turn around. It's like getting cock slapped by a random person you've never met before a hundred times simultaneously, which is why I can see why Obama loves them so much. I'd go B tier. If Trump wore a cowboy hat, he would look like Archie Bunker. Don't even know who the fuck that is. Only cowboy I know is Django, because they asked me to be cast in that movie, but Michelle wouldn't allow it. Get cucked, bro. Wow, I never would have thought Michelle would cock block you like that. I figured she was more of a cock enabler. What do you mean by that? Nothing, really. I'm gonna go A tier because cowboy hats are never going out of style anytime soon, boys. Yeah! Now let's get to moving on to these here beer drinking hats. Bro, I have never worn one of these ever. Sucks to suck, bro. You wear this to any sporting event and your section receives a massive increase in appeal and patriotism. What would you two know about patriotism? You just give all of our money away. Not gonna lie, that's straight facts, bro. This thing is just reckless. Like it's always a fat guy wearing this. Trump, you sure you never wore one of these? I don't drink, Joe. Pussy. How can you even call yourself American and not drink? <laughs> Whatever, bro, fuck your stereotypes. Don't hit me up when your liver fails. If it hasn't by now, I think I'm good. I'm gonna put this into B tier because it's a pretty awesome concept, but also a bit ridiculous. Okay, what do we think about fedoras? Tell me you're a school shooter or just throw a fedora on your head. It's basically the same thing. I have to agree with Trump on this one. Unless you are Michael Jackson, this hat just gives me serial killer vibes. You guys just don't have any fashion sense. Please, Joe, you have someone put your clothes on for you. The brim on the fedora doesn't get Jay in your face. It's action. No, we're not discussing fedoras, Joe, you loser. Throw it into trash tier and let's get to pom-pom hats. Okay, fine then. Pom-pom hats are extremely warm. Definitely the warmest hat out there. Like when I wear these, I get so fucking hot. My brain literally fries like it's in a 420 degree over when I put these knit hats on. Yeah, this shit kept me warm through many a cold day and cold night. If I wear only this hat and nothing else, I can still go outside in the snow and be warm. That's saying something. No shrinkage even occurs. Uh, yeah, definitely beat my meat wearing nothing but this cap in the snow on my front porch before. Lovely morning air to be herping and derping to. Dude. Holy hell, bro. You should catch an indecent exposure charge just for the image you put into my head. I gotta go S tier. The pom-pom feels nice and the hat is hard to leave somewhere without noticing. That's a very fair point, Obama. I've never lost one of these hats either. I know, I know. I have some great takes. Lick my ass, bro. These are going into S tier. If only you knew the freedom you feel when cranking it with nothing but a pom-pom hat on your body. Plus, it's a great way to make friends. Oh, my Lord, Joe. Yes, precisely, bro. Okay, what do you guys think about sombreros? Oh, mi muchacho. He, he, he me encantan sombreros. Mas porque Melania. Y yo pues hay uso sombreros cada día. Speak English, bitch. I feel you, Trump. Yo sé que tu mechage pinchate mama huevo. It's tier, Joe. Always fun to wear. Plus, the different designs are a cultural masterpiece. An amazing tradition. Simply beautiful. Vote for me, Yonald Trump. Yikes, bro. The sombrero is more of an occasional thing, no? Yes, it's definitely too big and impractical to wear on a daily or even a weekly basis. But any chance I get to wear one, I do because they are really fun. And if you're drunk, it automatically gets a lot more fun. My head starts to sweat and I don't look great in a sombrero, but I do love to wear them. I'm gonna throw them into A tier. How do you guys like bucket hats? Great hats. Good for golfing, riding in a golf cart while you're not golfing, golfing in GTA. All right, shut the fuck up. We get the point, you dickhead. These hats are so comfortable on the inside. 
and also provide a great amount of shade and cooling ability. Plus, the bucket hat basically turns you into a mentor slash coach. Baby girl, you could not have been more correct. The bucket hat also is great at collecting water in um, survival situations. You just turn it upside down and put it on the ground. In exactly one hour, you will have 32 ounces of fresh water. The fuck, Joe? When would you ever do that? I can't even imagine the amount of amoebas that have entered your brain through rainwater. Yes, well, amoebas are brain-boosting parasites, Trump. You should drink more French martyr. I think your brain pooped out. Pooped out? No, no, it's just spurting a little smoke. I'm gonna go S-tier with the bucket hats. All right, lastly, we have Outback hats. This is like exclusively for Aussies, bro. It also looks very primitive. No soul like cowboy hats or personality like the bucket hats. Mate, haven't you ever hunted kangaroo before? The Outback hat is a necessity. The kangaroos will kick your face in if you don't wear one of these. Joe, did you die and come back to Earth as a farmer or something? Yeah, all these empirical stories are quite puzzling. Bro, I was born this way. Hear me out. The Outback hat looks great. It's simple but symmetrical, and it really makes you feel like a cowboy, too. An Australian one. Makes you look like a kangaroo trainer, bro. Even when Volk wore one before his UFC fight, he looked stupid. Stupid is as stupid does. This shit must directly impact your speech because you turn very much illiterate when you wear these. What a sweeping generalization only a fuckface would make. No, Joe, listen here, dickface. This hat is very cool and provides a lot of shade. But it's too fucking big and has no design. All right, don't come at me so hard. Bro, I'm disabled. <laughs> Gotta go see tier. It's cool, but way too big and doofy looking. Like, I wouldn't even want to wear this, even if I worked in the field every day. That's because you guys don't know what good brim is. Gotta give you all a brim job sometime. Okay, I'll put this into C tier. I'll see you bitches. Later. Yo, what's up, gang? What's up, Pudge Boy? Hey, yo, lard ass, what's Gucci? All right, settle down, you two physically deteriorating specimens. Comment a leaf emoji if you think these two are more frail than a Nutrigrain bar. Shut the fuck up, Donald. I'm shredded as fuck. You need a fucking archaeologist to find Obama and Biden. Get real. Subscribe to me right now if you agree. I've heard that joke too often. It's so played out. You would know since your wife looks like a stegosaurus. What the fuck is a stegosaurus? I don't know. I just downloaded this Nerf blaster game on my phone, and it has a stegosaurus in it. Oh! Okay, then, I'll take shit that no one asked for 200. You know what snack really will always be remembered? Stormy toes? You're so fucking disgusting, Obama. Look, I didn't eat her toes, okay? Just sucked on her finger a little bit. Trump, please stop. You know he's got the voice recorder on. Yep, have fun in jail. Plus, you definitely did more than suck on her finger. Okay, yeah, I ate her ass, too. What of it? <laughs> oh, gross. Shut the fuck up, Trump. What snack are you talking about? Well, since you really want to know, it's the crackers with that cheese dip. Remember that red plastic scooper? Classic spread action. Oh, yeah, that shit spreads better than peanut butter on bread. Shut up, Obama. I bet Manchel spreads your ass cheeks like a cracker. Well, that would make sense, except there are no black crackers. So, ha! Actually, there are graham crackers, Obama. How do you not know that? L listen, I acknowledge any cracker, regardless of its... Fake news, Obama, you racist. Okay. So these are going into S tier. Because although I have no idea what kind of cheese this was, it tasted like cheesy butter. Okay, next up. Cheesy butter is like your spirit animal. Dewey, shut the fuck up. Okay, uh, next up ass. we have... Okay, stop it. Next up we have the Oreo version of these. You know, I'd be willing to give both S tier just because I love spreadable snacks. Is that what you say after you eat Michelle's hairy ass, Obama? Joe, keep talking and I'll sock your ass so hard. You couldn't throw a punch without clogging an artery, you fat bozo. My blood pressure isn't that bad. It's 420 over 69 HA, bitch. Damn, that's how you know Donald's a real G. For real, thanks for the help campaigning again, Joe. Joe Deadass out here campaigning for Donald more than himself. We're fucked. Not as fucked as those Syrian children you bombed. Whoa, well, now, Joe, that clapback was unprecedented. By the way, uh, uh, I still have the launch code, so shut the hell up. Uh, these... Uh, Oreo spreadables are even better than the, the cheese ones, in my opinion. Cheese over cookies every time? Yeah, I agree, bro. Nothing beats cheese. Don't you remember our cheese tier list? Cheese is clearly the best. These are great, very tasty and all, but you just scoop the cream out with a stick. Where's the fun in that? This is basically just a cookie or a lame-ass dunkaroo gonna go B tier. How do you guys feel about goldfish? Uh, Trump, remember when you said I was the physical embodiment of a, a Snickers bar. Uh, 
well, you're the physical embodiment of this, these cheddar cheese goldfish. I was thinking that too, but didn't want to say anything. Orange hate must be stopped. These goldfish are S tier. I meant that because you're orange wider than you are tall and leave a fishy taste in people's mouths. Don't worry about what taste I leave in people's mouths, Obama. That didn't sound kind of sus, Obama. Oh, listen to you basic ass middle schoolers. The cheddar goldfish are definitely an elite snack, but it's everywhere. I mean, literally, I can't escape these fucking goldfish, or wouldn't it be better in A tier or B tier? Blasphemy, Obama. You know these snacks are goaded. Let's not forget about pizza goldfish, white cheddar goldfish, and all the other variations, which also slap. Easy S tier fuck is wrong with you, Obama. Next up, we have baby carrots. Hold up. Before you crucify this, as it is the only snack with nutrients, baby carrots are fire. The cool texture, the warm texture, it doesn't matter. Carrots are clearly the best tasting vegetable. Bro, you know, the kids who brought carrots to lunch in school were always taller than six foot. Obama llama might be onto something. That was definitely you, Obama. You were the guy with baby carrots. Okay, yes, but why does that matter? Because you's a bitch. Obama, baby carrots are for baby dicks. That's not true, bro. Is it not? I thought Manshell was the top. Damn it, Joe, my wife is not a man. Fake news. Your point about carrots being the best tasting vegetable is debatable, although carrots would always be top five. Yeah, carrots are pretty good if you're a weenie like Obama is. Anything higher than C tier is okay with me. I agree with you, Joe, and I don't want people to think that I'm anti-vegetable, so I'm gonna put these into C tier. What do we think about Lunchables? On point, bruv. All the cool kids had Lunchables. Lunchables are straight trash, bro. This shit was always faker than Joe's clone. I will agree, Joe. Anyone flexing Lunchables. I would just pick up a piece of their Lunchables meat and let that perfectly sliced off-colored pink sponge hang from my fingertips and look the motherfucker right in the eyes. Damn, Trump didn't even have to say anything, huh? Nope. People knew exactly what the fuck was happening when they looked at the floppy, dehydrated, shiny meat square and the cheap-ass plastic blue dish. Worse than a TV dinner. You all can climb back out of my ass, bro. And you know the nacho Lunchables was fire. You can't even say anything about that. No meat, it's literally just nachos and queso. Okay, fair point. There is a lot of variety and it's hard to fuck up nachos. Yes, however, they also put a lot of chips into the package at a low cost. So look, the Lunchables go D tier. It's basically salmonella and halitosis in a Dunkaroos package, but the nacho cheese variety saves it from the bellows of trash tier. Okay, what do we think about snack packs? Oh, I always daydream about that rich, creamy white pudding all over my face. Oh, now, someone please give me a fucking priest right now. Obama, chill. Don't you also love pudding since you're married to Mandingo, Michelle? Oh, is that what m and stands for? I saw your Facebook status yesterday said M&M's bitch, but I liked it because I thought you were supporting M&M's. Joe, I don't want to hear anything else out of your mouth right now. That was actually very intriguing, but kindly shut the fuck up. Let me explain. Let me explain what the fuck a real G is, my guy. These snack packs go into S tier right now. You're in no position to start making demands, Joe. Not with the gay little thoughts you keep articulating. Trump, Michelle is under the impression Melania also has a very great schlong. Care to explain? What? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Liar. Yeah, Trump, we know you don't have receipts for that jawline. Looks like the Mexican crimson chin. All right, look, we don't have to argue about this. I love snack packs too. The chocolate one is way worse than the vanilla pudding though. So as a whole, we're gonna go B tier. What do you guys think about Oreos? Straight gas gotta go S tier. Clutch that the school milk cartons could fit an Oreo down their orifices. Bro, why you gotta turn everything gay? Look, an orifice is actually a good way to describe the opening of a milk carton. It's always a different size and shape depending on how you open it. What the hell are you talking about? You obviously pull the two sides apart all the way to create a gaping hole. Yo, are we ranking Oreos or the fucking milk carton? Fair point, Obama. Oreos themselves are really the best cookies you can get prepackaged. There are so many flavors too, like even the reverse Oreos are heat. The mint ones are also very good but there are also too many flavors. Double stuff only. It's really that simple. Easy S tier. Okay, what do you guys think about Scooby Snacks? R.A. Scooby Dooby Doo. Oh, fuck. You scared the shit out of me. Anything enthusiastic scares you, Obama, you monotone, light skin ass? You plainer than baked chicken. For real, Obama, you literally order the same thing at McDonald's every time, too. Why would I ever want anything? besides a 10-piece McNugget meal and a large Sprite with an Oreo McFlurry.
it always hits. Of all the things, Obama, the nugget meal has to get old. It's literally just plastic chicken, but quite delicious, I might add. Oh, fuck off, Trump. The Scooby Snacks are great, bro. Best gummies out there for sure. Fuck your Welshes and your Mott's. Oh, God, I can feel you there. Mott's is for thoughts. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Then you would like it. But clearly, the Scooby Snacks are the best thing in the world. Plus, if you roll it up on a fruit roll-up, you have yourself quite the fat Scooby Blunt. Must you find a way to throw crackhead things into everything? Uh, I'm agreeing with you, bro. Shut the hell up. The Scooby Snacks are clearly the best gummies, but I'd go B-tier because there aren't that many gummies in a pack. Plus, these things are like tar for your teeth. Fair point, Obama, but it tastes so fruity it makes your breath smell amazing, and so it's going S-tier. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Okay, next up, let's go into pretzel sticks. Pretzel sticks are so fire, not gonna lie. They're even better than the real pretzels because they are way easier to eat. The pretzel stick is a puny excuse for a snack, plus the box just turns into dirty brown ass rock salt that I wouldn't even throw into my driveway. Yeah, but why does that bother you? A little salt never hurt nobody. I'd give these a solid A tier. They always are a nice treat. Yeah, we used to call down these matchstick pretzels and use them to light our candy cigarettes back in the dat. Good munchies, I'd also go A tier. No better way to do it. Okay, what do y'all think about Nutri-Grain bars? So good. Classic and timeless. Your dusty ass would love this dry ass snack bar. It crumbles so easily. The bars themselves were actually pretty good, but you needed a glass of milk with those. Drier than the Syrian desert. There aren't enough cows in this world to help the dryness of Joe's decrepit mouth. Really love the blueberry Nutri-Grain that shit does slap. Absolutely blubs for the win. Okay. I'm gonna go C-tier for these, very tasty, but have 12 grams of sugar and are drier than a mothball. Hit the like and subscribe buttons, you nerds. I have to go craft more glorious comedy. Okay, guys, I'm hijacking this plane. It's time to like and subscribe or it's over. I will now be your moderator for the Skittles tier list. Oh, fuck. Put an explosion in the comments if you think we're going down, boys. I've never been more scared for my life. Wake me up when it's time to press the like button. I mean, my parachute button. How the hell? Think quick, boys. What do we think of the smoothie Skittles flavor? Straight trash, George. Why are you ranking these first? Inedible. How the fuck do I work this mask shit? Yeah, that makes sense. All right, I'm going to go trash to you. Okay, listen, we're fucked, guys. Jump. Hoey! Joe, come on. Come on, man. George, you asshole, don't ever put me in that situation again. Joe, your dry-ass mouth was splattering ungodly smelling saliva all over the back of my neck. It's called Sleepy Sex Panther, Obama. 90% of the time it works, 10% of the time. What are you doing? Get up, pussy. Have a cigarette, cup of coffee, get back in the game. Fuck's wrong with you? You're right, George. Time to bounce back, Obama. Oh, ooh, Abe K. Kason, I feel my power's coming back. That's the sleepy sex washing over you, Obama. Enough, Joe. Came on your breath, smells like a dinosaur's. We have work to do. Our fans can't be left hanging. What do you guys think about tropical Skittles? Moi, a true masterpiece. Destroys my teeth and my organs, so I love it, of course. Who wouldn't? The yellow ones are my favorite. Pour me a tall glass of these, would you? My paw, 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 poppins are falling off in excitement. And they're the peach guava flavor. Okay, the writers of your teleprompter must be baked as fuck right now. No way you guys actually like these that much. They're okay, but the mango tango flavor was a big letdown. If you're going to make mango flavored anything, it better slap. Matter of fact, Melania, grab me a mango right now from Costco. Unlock a Donnie boy. You know, although you are both semi-disabled, I respect what both of you said. Putting these into D tier because other than the yellow ones, these are pretty buns. What do you guys think about the wild berry Skittles? S tier right now, these are better than the regular Skittles. No, the originals are better. Hey, Joe, fuck out of here. Regular Skittles are so much better. These are one of the better flavors, though. Yeah, the melon berry are pretty good. The cherry is amazing, and the berry punch is very good. It doesn't pop like regular Skittles, though. Like hell, they don't. Oh, come on, cranky ass. Every flavor is really good, bro, bro. I mean, even the regular Skittles has grape, which sucks. So that's why I think they are worth S tier. That's a fair point, Joe, but no, they are not going to go S tier. They are an A tier pack. Okay, next, what do you guys think about sour Skittles? S tier. In terms of sour candy, they're elite. Yeah, the fat orange man is right about this one. Slapperoni. All right, so we're going S tier. My mouth burns into half its size after I eat these, but it's so worth it. Heard you. Last week, I heard my tooth sizzling after eating a pack of these. All right, shut the fuck up, Obama, you whiny bitch. The regular Skittles are up next, although we already pretty much said they were S tier already. Giga goated. 
The regular Skittles have always been there and provide an experience like no other. Starburst and basically all other candy fail to do what Skittles has done. They're all basically Skittles knockoffs. Not as fake as that wig and that spray tan, though. No other candy really hits the mark on spun sugar like Skittles do. Yeah, that's facts. Obunga. I even spin my own sugar with a needle and thread sometimes when I don't have any Skittles on me. Homemade Skittles, Joe. How do those taste? Like home, George. Like home. How can Skittles taste like a mental institution? Settle down, Obama. So I have to go S-tier for the OG Skittles pack. Y'all can go suck on a Starburst if you disagree. Let's talk about the Carnival Skittles flavor for a second. Now, I know these are limited edition, but they are hands down the best Skittles that ever destroyed my taste buds. Dude, the candy apple and cotton candy flavors were so amazing. The Skittles actually taste better than the things they are flavored after. Bussin' for real. The licorice ones also were very tasty, but I also love having half chub candy. Whoa, now. Sus alert, I'm going to have to log off now, gentlemen, right as I place this bad boy into S tier. Let us know what other Skittles to rank, although there aren't that many flavors. More content coming. You know your boy is always in the kitchen, so subscribe. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you love jelly. I can't see many of these going below C tier. Jelly is amazing. Leave a British flag in the comments if you're Team English Muffin or a bread emoji if you're Team Toast. Clearly, I'm Team English Muffin. Team Toast, brah. Call me a proper president, Jam. No jelly. Beautifully spat, Joe. Toast is clearly the superior bread form. Fake news. Yeah, yeah, let's start this off with grape jelly. I have a feeling I know where this one is going. Shut the hell up, you racist ass. Grape jelly is clearly the best jelly flavor. Oh, here we go. Notice you said jelly flavor, so really the grape part is the part you like about it. Yeah, grape jelly is the best Obama. It's so old I even used it to grout my bathtub. It smells so amazing every time I shower, and Jill loves it. Of course, that Oompa Loompa looking ass would love grape jelly securing her shower tiles together. Shut the fuck up, Donald. You look more like an Oompa Loompa than Jillian does. Yeah, that's right, Trump. Suck my ass. Gross, Joe. Okay, Donald, it's clearly two against one here, so you can watch from your armchair as I drop this into S tier. How do we feel about strawberry? Oh, Mrs. Fields. Strawberry was her maiden name. She made the best doggone strawberry jelly down on the Bohemian Grove. Quiet, Joe. You can't mention what goes on there. Say another word, and I have 100 gigabytes of media to ruin yours and your family's life, even though they do a great job themselves. Obama, I will have you gone in five seconds before that media makes its way to the Internet. Gentlemen, please, I really have to urinate. Can we put our small wieners back in our pants, please? Strawberry is, Joe, the worst flavor of jelly. Donald, that is not true. Strawberry jam is, however, a massively underwhelming spread. Strawberries themselves taste great, but in the jam form, they really don't come out great. I'm going to go D tier. What do you guys think about raspberry? Raspberry is pretty good, but if you rank strawberry that low, you don't know your fucking jams, dog. Oh, Joe, don't get all butthurt now because of the strawberry ranking? Butthurt is Michael, I mean Michelle's middle name. His face is probably raspberry red right now. Probably true, since he's a light skin. Not this shit again. Raspberry jam is amazing. I'd put this in S tier before grape, but I'm the only one here who hasn't completely lost his mind. Yeah, no shot, Donald. This jam really is love or hate. In this case, though, it's not really tough at all. Raspberry jam is like an amazing touch of feeling, but not enough soul. Ah, uh, what the hell? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to throw this into the B tier with honors. Next, we have apricot jam. This amber sauce is fantastic. It's one of the few jams that's actually different. And to be in the 1%, you got to be different, baby. Apricot's an S tier. You know, this jam really is bussin'. I'd also go S tier. Nah, for real. Technically, you can make preserve with any fruit. But of the jar jellies, this one is fantastic. Got to go S tier. What do we think of marmalade? Cheers, mate. Would love some. As a wee lad, my English babysitter would always tell us to eat our marmalade. I would usually just look at her sideways and tell her we won the war. But in those days, they would walk a flock of flame your ass so hard with that leather strap. Jam, Joe, what do you think of the jam? Fucking hell, mate. This marmalade is not really a great jam flavor, but it's not terrible. This is an excellent source of vitamin C, Obamna, but it's pretty terrible. The UK have this delusional sense that their breakfast is better than ours. But then you go there and eat flapjacks and toast that looks like it was made in a fourth grade science class on a Bunsen burner. Would definitely consider this when you hear people say that the UK has the worst food. Mate, it's not supposed to be like America. Fucking hell, mate, would you like a bloody birthday cake on top of your flapjacks, you fat piece of layered? Hmm, shut the fuck up, Joe. That was cringe. Yeah, English breakfast is so overrated, this marmalade is going into C tier. Okay, next up we have cherry jam. Absolutely amazing, but still lacking in some departments. I don't really like when the cherries are actually inside the jam. That's the best part, man. Keep on, man. 
Actually, that's the only part I like about it, because the cherries shrink and become extra densely delicious. You guys are hyping this jam up. Sure, it's probably the sweetest and has that deep cherry flavor, but nothing too crazy. Love the other jams, plus the shit always makes my lips tangy go for some reason. D tier. Listen, we still need to rank peach jam, guys. Come on now. This fruit preserves better than any other fruit. Canned peaches, fire, peach filling, fire, peach liquor. I mean, this stuff basically rottens into a better version of itself. The natural symbol for what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. The homemade versions are even better than this smucker shit, too. I can concur with that statement, Obama. This jam is the most similar to McDonald's, so it has to go S tier. I get my peaches out in Georgia. Ooh, yeah, shit. I get my weed from California. Ooh, that's it. I took my chick up toe of the north. Yeah, badass bitch. I get my light straight from the source. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, shut the fuck up going S tier. Okay, next up, I have a stupid fruit and a stupid jam. Blueberry. No love for blubs. What are blubs? Big hair boobs. Get this clown off the microphone. Blueberries are so small and sour half the fucking time. I mean, they're just too tiny. And I don't even know if real fruit is made for the jams. Don't know, don't care, but they're decent. Just not too flavorful or spectacular. Oh, blueberries, yes, that's what my mother called them. Yeah, they're okay, but I just like it because I get to hear the term bloobs. S tier. Never that, Joe, this shit is going into D tier. What do you geezers think of blackberry jam? Pretty good, but fails as a jam. Whoa, now Trump, just because it's black doesn't mean it has to fail at life. Who said that, Joe? I didn't say that. Basically, that's what you said, Trump. Plus, blackberry jam is pretty good, although definitely not as good as cherry. I never said that. Blackberry jam is quite nice, Donald. It's very sweet and earthy and adds a lot to the whole dish. What do you have against these so-called blackberries? Nothing at all. Look, nobody loves blackberries more than I do. They're okay, I guess, but I just don't think they're as good in jam form. And when you really think about it, do you really like blackberry jam more than strawberry or any of the other ones? Okay, fair point. Yeah, Donald, you're right. We should all just get along. You weren't insinuating anything. Never that, Joe, this shit is going into D tier. Wow, nice vocabulary word, Joe. All right, I'm going to head out. See you two ugly fuck faces later. Thank you, fat ass. All right, dickheads, don't crank it too much, okay? What up, bro bros? Hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll get started right away. Yeah, I'm itching to get going because today we're ranking Call of Duty games. Oh, Donald, I'm going to be your worst teenage nightmare in game chat for this video. I fucked your mom. You really can't get ass then. Okay, first, let rank the original. A true classic, although it hadn't quite caught on yet. Even had a nice multiplayer mode for its time. Bro, I'll murk your ass right now with my 8-bit Panzer. That's the spirit, Joey, so I'm going to go ahead and put this into A tier. It deserves respect for starting the series and having a kick-ass storyline. Look, what do we think about COD 2? If COD 2 deserves respect, this game deserves the attention. The graphics received a major overhaul and the gameplay mechanics became much more versatile. Grenades and bolt-action rifles were uber-realistic and that cockback is quite memorable. Uh, yeah, each chapter left you wanting more, always something unexpected lurking around the corner. As long as it's not Joe's sniffer, I'll be okay. What does my swiffer have to do with this? Joe. Take your damn pills already. This is going into S tier because somehow it's still playable even today. Ain't that some bullshit? If you were a true OG killer like you say you always are, you should know that this game is the complete package. Okay, moving on from this dumbass baby, we got Call of Duty 3. For a Call of Duty game, Buns, they had one really great multiplayer map, but I didn't like the gameplay as much. When you compare it to the other World War II era games, it's probably the worst one. So I'd go trash tier. You can't put a COD game in trash tier? Yeah, what are we, a bunch of dickheads? Okay, hold on. Aren't you guys being a little too harsh? Well, I suppose. Uh, World at War and World War II were definitely better than this, but at the time, this was just as good. Yeah, and I'm gonna put this into D tier because although COD is the best and all of the games are great, this one is in the lower tiers. Okay, listen, from now on, we'll also be ranking the best multiplayer maps for each game. All right, COD 4 is up next. Modern Warfare. Didn't you watch our first person tier list back in the day, Obama? We put that shit into S tier. No Damn right, we did what you soft ass pussies know about hardcore search and destroy. I put Osama on ice and then raided his underground bunker, motherfucker. I know everything about search and destroy. Oh, Obama, you're more like the king of team deathmatch drone striking everyone you see like you're trying to reach 20 kills the fastest. What do you think? I'm just not going to use my kill streaks, bro. Yeah, but like the drone, bro. Nobody uses that. You need to choose better score streaks. It works really, really well for me, all right? 
as long as it works for you, Obama. Although I remember sniping you repeatedly on BOG while you fiddled with your drone the entire time, the last time we played this. Exposed. Shut the hell up, Joe. Just puzzles me why they haven't really brought back hardcore game modes since COD 4. That's the question we've all been asking ourselves. The first call of duty to really bring realistic and modern warfare to consoles. The first time we saw guns like the MP5, the AK-47, M16, and the like. What could be better than mowing people down with an M16? It was the first game to feature kill streaks, heartbeat sensors, and night vision. Yeah, for real guys, pisses me off when people say Modern Warfare 2 is better than Modern Warfare. But Modern Warfare 2 is better. There were 20 kill streaks, and we got to pick them instead of just three standard ones. Diarrhea mouth ass. Shut the fuck up, Joe. God awful fucking loser. Okay, this shit is being slammed into S tier as the greatest FPS ever created. And Bog is the best map, not debatable. If you ain't played Bog, you aren't living. Okay, next up, what do we think about World at War? Zombies bro enough said, put that shit into S tier. COD games are more than just zombies, Joe. We've been over this. Uh... Oh, come on, Trump Zombies is, is by far the best zombie survival game, and it's just a subset of the Call of Duty franchise. Plus, the DLC maps included Der Rezi, which is really the best zombies map out there. Exactly. So why not S tier? The campaign was sick, too. So much fun smoking chinks out of the trenches with the M2 flamethrower. Yes, but after that, it got much slower and more boring. I once burned down my ex's house with an M2 flamethrower. Oh, God, you have mental issues. What happened, Obama? Did that bus and bussy make you lose your shit? I'm just confused as to why you didn't drone strike her house. All right, guys, I was going through a rough time. Yeah, I think there's video evidence somewhere of all those rough times. Rough times in my mind calls for scotch and lots of churros, Mexico. Te amo mucho. Yes, not tranny hookers and drone flights. Just crack cocaine and abandoning the entire country for you, Joe. This game is pretty solid, but there is something missing from the campaign and the multiplayer. However, there is a strong gravitational pull leading me to place this into A tier just because of Nazi zombies. Also, Hangar was the best map. All right, now we have Modern Warfare 2. Goated, the favelas were the perfect setting for fast-paced pandemonium. I'll get fucked. Joe, the favelas are just your favorite place to traffic humans. No, no, Obama, the taco bowls are elite in the favelas. Plus, I like to let it spray in areas with lots of rich culture. Yeah, me too, bro. Okay, the campaign was definitely top tier. The snowmobile level will always stick with me. Wait a minute, why the fuck isn't there a presidential snowmobile? Let me call Kamala. See if she made my pancakes yet. Okay. You fat fuck. Yes, so while I wait for my pancakes, Modern Warfare 2 was very highly anticipated for most, but since I wasn't in eighth grade when this game came out, I saw it for what it was, bells and whistles. Gotta go C tier just cause the massive amount of new features diluted the game a little. I wish they focused on the fundamentals like graphics, gameplay, and more Always on the little, the little things. things. Yo, dead ass. This is the hardest placement. Just make a fucking decision, Obama. Okay, okay, geez. All right, I gotta go B tier, and Rust is clearly the best map. Now let's keep it moving. What do you salty sea dogs think about Black Ops? Bro, the zombies was really amazing. Also, why the fuck did you rank three maps in a row without even so much as a discussion? Hold on, mate. Didn't you just scold me for putting too much weight on the zombies mode five seconds ago? Yes, but you are Joe Biden and I am Donald Trump. Both of those names don't have any credibility. Suck, Suck my, my ass, ass bitch. bitch. Jinx, buy me a soda. This is Shut an up, unfair bitch. trade Okay, deal. what are we ranking? Black Sheep 1. Black Ops, Joe. Black Ops. Oh, yeah, that's the one. S-tier cause of the zombies. Those little monkeys in Ascension and Shangri-La were so cute, I want to take one home. Bro, I was the one who grilled you for ranking the games based on zombies. Do you even play the fucking game, bro? Why, yes, I played yesterday. I reached around 28. Bro, you really need to take your meds. I can help you out, though, Obama. Black Ops was a true masterpiece that never got enough credit. There wasn't any stupid jetpacks and sliding and shit. Just good gameplay. Multiplayer wasn't changed much, but the campaign was great and zombies were the best of their kind. Plus, you can play zombies as the presidents, which is literally us, so there's that. All right, I'm going A tier. It's a lot of fun, but kind of confusing what, uh, what time period this took place in. Seriously, one of the best in the series. And Nuketown was the best map. I really liked Firing Range a lot more, Obama came on. Didn't ask, bro. It's just going to be which maps I like best, okay? How do we feel about Modern Warfare 3? Took a massive shit. 
played out by then, shouldn't have even made this shit. The only good thing I remember about this game is the special ops mode, where you snipe juggernauts and stalk your prey in the snowy woodlands. For real, this shit's irrelevant. If they're at a COD game going into what are those tier, it's this one. All right, next up we have Blops 2. Listen to this guy. Blops? What a jerk off. Oh, please, my nicknames are just too clever for your pitiful asses. The only pitiful ass here is your heavily penetrated, sun-dried tomato of an ass crack Obama. I wonder who's going to have their ass spread more, Obama or Trump in prison. Well, it's getting chilly out, so Manchin, I mean, my wife, gets very cuddly. Obama, half the time you deny it, half the time you admit. What the hell is your deal, bro? Joe, about the ass cheeks being spread, I'm actually convinced your asshole is actually your lips. Funny, that's an interesting theory. That would explain a lot, actually. Okay, so Blops 2 definitely can't go higher than Blops 1. That's a fact, yeah. And the multiplayer was a bit better, in my opinion, but the zombies maps weren't... Okay, yes, true, let me write this down. Who the fuck still uses pen and paper Obama? This is why I run circles around you in the White House. You couldn't run more than 10 feet without having an asthma attack. All right, this is going into D tier. Of the Black Ops series, it's the worst one. Don't know a single person who plays this game, so fuck the maps this time. Okay, what do we think about, wait for it, Black Ops 3? Blops 3 is goaded, bro. They basically knew the Black Ops series wasn't hitting like modern warfare, so they had to make improvements. Trump Black Ops was better than modern warfare. What, General Milley, throw this treasonous scum into Guantanamo Bay? He doesn't work for you anymore. You're so delusional, bro. All right, bro, whatever. You know I'm still upset about General Milley cheating on me with you. Well, they don't say Obama got the drama for no reason. That was actually me, Donald. Oh, fuck, no, 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 not that BBC. Yes, Donald, that long dong, beat the walls type of love. Love, we both know that it's lust, Obama. Yeah, whatever, get cucked, Donald. Black Ops 3 has very good zombies, and the Metro map I find one of the most exciting multiplayer maps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you love to have a train run on you. That made me L O L Joe not. The map is really good. Joe, can you tone it the fuck down, please? What am I, a guitar amplifier? What? You're definitely some sort of robot. B E B O O M not to beep boop. Yeah, so the Black Ops 3 was really very lackadaisical. I remember we used to hold a tennis match next to the church and we'd bobble all around in the air. <laughs> and that's just the way it goes, folks. As the spelling bee judge in Billy Madison said, Mr. Madison, what you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I, uh, yeah, couldn't have said it better myself. Now, I'm still shocked, but I think I'm going to put this one into C tier. Next up, we have Call of Duty Ghost. Can you believe this trash is still $60? Clearly not right, I agree. Besides, this game sucks and everyone agrees that it sucks. Very little innovation and the story made no sense. For real, I felt nothing when I played this. I felt insane disappointment like when I go to sniff a child and I miss. Jesus Christ, Joe. Lord help me. Okay, going into trash tier, what do we think about Warzone? It's a free game, Obama, and it's not Call of Duty. This is a strange generic misogyny of COD and Fortnite. I'd go D tier just for dick riding Fortnite. Yeah, dick riding epic games is pretty cringe. Great game though, but very unoriginal. God, I hate talking about this shit. It's too new age and Fortnite doesn't feel like Call of Duty to me. Going C tier because it's very fun and free, but nobody does Fortnite better than Fortnite. Yeah, that's right. MD to all you PUBG fanboys. All right, last, and I saved this for last, for a reason, we have COD Mobile. This game has bagged over one million of my dollars in exchange for those draws. Dude, you're broke, I, I spent 10 million. Let me flex my arsenal on you right quick. There will be no flexing of $5,000 Call of Duty guns. This game is the future of Call of Duty. I can play this shit anywhere, and it's always a fun time. Quick, five to 10 minute rounds, and they even have Shy No Numa now which is a great time. Hold on, Obama, don't get your panties wet before the deal is closed. This is a free mobile game and can never come close to the console experience. Yeah, the screen is too small. This game is fire, though. Okay, I don't want to argue here, but the phone is so easy to play on. Uh, I'm sure some nerd somewhere can get it to play on a bigger screen with a controller for your nerdy asses. All right, this is going S tier. Whoever is still watching, I love you. Softer than a sponge. Shut up, Joe. Dark. 
All right, guys, I'm clearly the most athletic one of the group, and today we're ranking sports. Make sure to hit the like button, and we'll get started. Obama, I'm obviously the athletic one. Obama, look at my broad shoulders. You might make a good lineman or a CC Sabathia-type pitcher, but other than that, you are unathletic as shit. By the way, subscribe or you ain't a real G. Quiet down, Joe. You look like you would snap in half if you touched any sort of ball. Enough bickering. You two are both unable to run a full mile. Okay, first up, we'll be ranking tennis in honor of the Masters this week. Tennis, Obama, is only played by people of class. What would a low-life Democrat like yourself be doing on the tennis court? The tennis is an amazing game. I always love watching the ball boys sprint onto the court to retrieve the balls. I even hired one for the White House. His name's George, and he wears a spiky collar. Joe, your administration is one big swingers party. Please, I just got a mental image of Pete Booty Gig plowing that press secretary. Gene of yours. Disgusting. Yeah, and that Department of Energy head, who's a furry, what the hell is his deal? The bald guy who keeps stealing suitcases from the baggage claim like he has a random monthly subscription box or something, only they are random suitcases with other people's belongings. Oh, you mean my buddy Sam. We had to let him go, unfortunately, but he's still a close friend. And my favorite furry. He played a lot of tennis. Maybe tennis isn't a symbol of class after all. No, it still is. There are just a few bad apples. That or a bad orange in your case, Trump. No such thing as a bad orange, Joe. That's facts. Uh, I'm going to go C-tier for this one because it really doesn't take a freak of nature to run around a small square and hit a tiny ball with a massive racket. It's also literally a swingers party if you think about it. Shut up, Ho. Wait a minute. Ho Biden has a nice ring to it. All right. Uh, how do you guys feel about baseball? It's the most American thing in the world, but it's just too fucking boring to watch. You'll never catch me at a baseball game. Plus, that proposal thing at the ball game makes me uncomfortable. I married Melanie in an underground bunker in Tijuana. I think. Yeah, not judging or anything, but you could have done it above ground. In retrospect, I think one of my 6,000 restaurants would have been better. Wow, that's sad. Pipe down soy boy. Not going to lie. I don't know anyone who doesn't think baseball is a little slow, but it, it's a great watch. I mean, it takes me three whole minutes to get out of bed, so I think the pace is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Joe, how you can be so out of touch with reality was just going to say that's phenomenally pathetic. Baseball deserves A tier. There is not enough hand-to-hand -hand combat. We're not ranking sports on their brutality factor, Donald. I really think you need help. Look, baseball is a phenomenal game, but it's just so much more fun to play than it is to watch. Going to go A tier because it kept my dad sane enough to deal with my mom. Okay, anyway, how do we feel about football? You know that Black Lives Matter shit really pisses me off. Fake news. Bitch ass, shut the hell up. No, you shut the hell up, cocksucker. If anyone's sucking any cock around here, it's going to be May. Whoa, Joe, what the hell is that shit? Yo, for real, dog. Anyone see where my Doritos went? Up your ass, probably. Yo, bro, get some help. Yo, for real, for real, I'm putting this into S tier. Good. My ass is a little bit sunburnt. Wow, good to know. Okay, what do you think about hockey? Mattress hockey is better. Shut the hell up. Nobody wants to imagine two bags of brittle bones making love. Or not the sounds we make are quite nice. Oh, God, Joe, for fuck's sake, what do you think about ice hockey? Not mattress hockey. Oh, yeah, well, haha, -ha, ice hockey is quite a nice sport, but I just can't play it. The lack of solid ground makes it even harder for me to stay vertical. And Jill always has to drag me across the ice because I keep falling down. Great place to meet kids, though. Holy shit, Joe, you are straight out of a horror film. Really wish the FBI wasn't reporting to you right now, those boys would have a field day with your ass. That also sounds quite nice. Anywho, I'd give it a B tier. You gay boy, let me see. Ice hockey is a tough one, gentlemen. Literally, the players are some of the toughest people I've ever met, but they also lack the most intelligence. It's always an amazing time watching ice hockey, and it's even more electrifying in person. I'm going to go A tier. Yeah, hockey games are always a wild time. It's hard to find something that's more energizing than fucking my gay lover or smoking crack but ice hockey provides that rush for me. What the fuck? Felt that in my soul, called that Obama trauma. What? Am I the only one who isn't a total pervert? You're the only one whose face looks like the inside of a cantaloupe, seeds included. Yes, well, at least I don't look like a fucking Snickers bar. You racist bastard. No, Joe, this light-skinned-ass pussy fart is literally the physical embodiment of a Snickers bar. This light-skinned-ass Snickers bar will force its way down your windpipe and choke you to death. Yeah, because you love sucking dick. What? No, the allegations are not true. Okay, I'm going to put ice hockey into A-tier, although this is white people's shit.
So what do you think about basketball? Love basketball. The feeling of the bat hitting the wicker baskets is amazing. Um, Joe, you need to take your dementia pills. Yes, why, back in the day, we used to whittle down the shaft where the base meets the head, and then we'd rub two stick together and try to make magic. And then the birdies would fly away, away, away. Away from me. Enough of this shit, Joe. Can't you wait 10 fucking minutes without having to smoke some crack? Can you go more than 10 minutes without having to eat some crack? Joe, how did that sentence come out and the other ones didn't? Because he's so fucking used to feeling embarrassed over the diarrhea of the mouth he so frequently has. Literally has IBS of the mouth. Yeah, your mouth is full of shit, Joe. Hey, it's a real condition. Can't stand when people discriminate because of oral IBS syndrome. Like, fuck, I hate when Kamala yells at me for disappearing from my press conferences to handle my oral IBS. You are a walking, falling skill issue, Joe. Love that you can't even deny that you have shit storms coming out of your mouth. Oh, you know what else I can't deny? That Michelle has a schlong. No kizzy, he got you Obama. That wasn't even shit. That was straight diamond. Yeah, diamond butt plug action. Talk about my wife again, and I'll beat you so hard you'll wish you were never cloned. I'm not a clone. I'm just half lizard. Don't you know the human brain is 99% reptilian? That's why my basketball game is so Only good. I'm tall and slither around the court. Hallucinations when your crackhead ass is stoned out of his mind thinking he can one-on-one -on -one me. Basketball is a great sport. All you need is a hoop to play, and you can throw just about anything in that sucker. Agreed, basketball is a great sport, fun to play with many variations like knockout, 3v3, 21, and horse, plus the giants you see playing at the professional level are awe-inspiring. So tall. All right, Obama, why don't you just suck one off? Whoa, now, Trump, keep those chapped lips and sunburn eyes quiet. I'm putting this into S tier. All right, what do you guys think about soccer? Bunch of foot fairies running around everywhere like Obama, running around for some dick. Boom, get flambate Obama. Shut the fuck up, Joe. You can't even run. God must be so disappointed in you for giving you two perfectly good legs and you can't even use them. It's all good, Obama. You clearly never got a BJ in a wheelchair. Whoa, what the fuck? Joe, I've never heard anyone ask their partner to blow them in a wheelchair. Maybe a Blumpkin, but def not a wheelchair. You're sick. I know I'm pretty sick. My lifestyle is unattainable to most. Slow your roll, Boulevard. That was not a flex, saying you cop dome in a wheelchair. This needed to happen, Joe. I'm sorry. Look, Dwayne, my name is Joe Biden. It doesn't matter what your name is. Take that yee ye lame excuse make an ass back to the gym, pony soldier. Yes, I am a first degree pony soldier in the 5th Rainbow Infantry Division. Well, not this shit again, you dementia ridden asshole. This is getting out of hand. Look, Rock, you can go now. And Joe, please learn your lesson about disabled sex not being a good fantasy. And please don't let any more diarrhea out of that mouth of yours again. Always attacking my oral IBS syndrome. For crying out loud, Joe, not everything is a medical condition. You're just stupid. Plain and simple. So what do you think about soccer? Oh, what? Soccer. Soccer is cool, but have you played Rocket League? You know, as crazy as it sounds, he made a good point. Good recovery, Joe. Thank you, my bubble spoon. For Christ's sake, just prove me wrong. Why don't you? Okay, yeah. Rocket League is like one of the best games of all time. And it's so awesome to be able to play soccer with a car and jetpacks. Yep, but let's be real. It's nothing without soccer, and soccer itself is the most watched sport worldwide. And with ratings like that, you got to go S tier. Donald, shut the hell up. Nobody even knew what The Apprentice was until you were 10 years done with your last season of about 12 fucking forgettable seasons. Forgettable. Why I ought to take you out to a nice BBQ dinner and never talk to you again. Oh, God, that sounds terrible. I knew Obama would hate being played like that. All he wants is to find his other broke-back rancher with plenty of good crack. I'm right here, baby. Come home. Holy guacamole. You are one sad sack of onions because if I ever said that, I would have to castrate myself and change my entire identity to a lower-status human being just to be able to look at myself in the mirror. Yeah, yeah, Dwayne, go away, okay? I already told you to fuck off. Mr. Trump, you are a true warrior, a man of great honor, and I respect you. So off, fuck, I will. I'm so scarred. Pussy-ass bitch. Okay, as I was saying before, the mongoloid clown joined soccer is an amazing sport. Even though you don't touch the ball with your hands, you use your hands to play still and have the occasional throw-ins. But women's soccer, hell no. Always slow, boring as shot, and ends on penalty kicks because they can't score in the regular time. 
Got to have Michelle do something about that. Going S tier. What do we think about UFC? The UFC could use a guy like me. Joe, you're a fucking Scooby-Doo belt in jujitsu. You pretty much are on all fours all the time. Is that someone projecting I hear? No cap. Obama just can't stop with these fantasies. I bet you go on meat spin for fun. Joe, I take kickboxing classes every week and would sure as hell beat your ass if it wasn't considered elderly abuse or medical malpractice. Medical malpractice, like what they did when they ripped your ugly ass out the womb. Goddamn. Cook, Joey. Cook my boy Trump up something to eat, would you? Okay, you bitch, you look uglier than Ugly Betty with a testosterone abuse problem. Oh, I'm eating this up right now. I would knock your bitch ass out with one finger. Your fingers are frailer than Brownie Brittle. Fuck you, Trump. This one finger has enough knockout power to send your eyes straight through the back of your head. That's an eye poke, and it's not legal in the UFC, dumbass. I put you in a Kimura so fast, you'll be wondering where Manchel is for her nightcap VJ in under 10 seconds. Joe, you can't even bend any of your joints. How are you going to pull that one off, you old fuck? Bro, I've made so many people tap out. Just go to my promo video. Type in BidenBlastYourBitch.com. Joe, this is not you. This is compilation of Comsat Shamayev choking people out with his legs. Darn it. I thought we looked pretty similar. Similar in that his legs are kind of skinny. But other than that, you look like the dead aliens they just found in Mexico. Goddamn. That was rough, Joe. I'm retiring. You know that's definitely for the best, Joe. Okay, I'm putting this into S tier. Subscribe and tell me in the comments if you want a part two. Hey, everyone. It's me, old Raisinhead. I mean, Joe Biden, and we're back at it. Rating video game protagonists this time. Comment a baby or toddler emoji if you're new here. I'm trying to see something. Already, Joe? Are you about to get us demonetized on our first fucking monetized video? Donald, between your vulgar ass and my vulgar ass, ain't no way we can monetize this channel. Fair point, dickhead scumbag. See, there we go, Trump. Let's try and keep it PG for the kids. Okay, we're ranking video game protagonists today. Let's start with the obvious, Mario. Gotta go S tier. Mario single-handedly put video games on the map as a hobby. You can't deny that. I was watching Pawn Stars yesterday, and they sold an original 1985 Mario game for 300 grand. Oh, whoa, that is quite the flex. I donated my presidential salary, which was 500K a year, to the people that's way more of a flex. Show us the receipts, Donald. What? No, I don't have any. Anyway, Mario as a protagonist is very much a dumbass, in my opinion. The only reason why people like him is because he doesn't talk. I mean, seriously, he's a doofy motherfucker. If he did talk, I'm sure whatever that bald, hairy-ass, cracked Italian plumber says would instantly make the world hate him. You don't know that Trump, plus what Obama said was true, Mario is like the Nicolas Cage of gaming, the trailblazer, the one who dared to jump on a tortoise and boop on a Goomba. The guy who allowed us to convince our moms to let us up past midnight and to skip school once a month. Just your parents, Joe. Plus, you didn't even have electricity when you were born stupid. Whatever I'm going A tier, because, and hear me out, Luigi is the braver of the two brothers. What the hell? Wait, let him cook Obama. I think he took his meds today. Which meds are we talking about? Yes, I took them. Luigi has always been the best, most loyal sidekick. For years, Mario has stolen the spotlight while Luigi played a supporting role without complaints. But when Luigi's Mansion released, we were surprised to find that Luigi is actually much braver than Mario. I didn't see Mario go take on a house full of ghosts with nothing but a vacuum. Plus, he abuses turtles. No, 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 you idiot. Luigi has only been the protagonist in one game and you're putting him into S tier? Stop fucking up the tear kissed already, Joe. Wait, wait, wait. A vacuum? Turtle abuse? Ghosts? I see what he means. Luigi had very relatable expressions on his face during Luigi's Mansion as opposed to Mario's fixed mustachial expression. Cook Joe, Luigi was definitely more fun to play as in a lead role than the shorter, stockier character. You know what? It, it's so weird, but it actually makes sense. For insane people, that is, who the fuck raised you two? There was a group of caterpillars that actually found me off the coast of Warsaw and lovingly took me in as their own. They would sleep all day and sometimes do the worm. That's basically why I am how I am. Wow, no hate Joe, that's actually sad. I feel bad now. Oh Lord, that explains everything. I remember walking into Joe's office and he had a literal cocoon wrapped around him like that big ass spider in the first Lord of the Rings movie. And I'm still just a human, so I can't turn into a butterfly. But the naps are so amazing. Okay, Luigi into S tier. We hope to see you lead another adventure soon. Okay, what do we think about Sonic? Sonic is a great protagonist. His spikes are cool and it's very creative. Hedgehogs are fat and slow in real life. Sounds like you, nigga. 
Oh, shut the fuck up, Obama. No, it doesn't. Anyway, this hedgehog is lightning fast and can roll around and hurt people. Great example of why video games are so epic. We can do things that we can't do in real life. Donald, if I have to hear you talk for that long again, I might just close the border. Sonic the Hedgehog is lame just like you. Dude gets no ass. Come on, Joe, even if you got ass if it was over 13, you wouldn't know what to do with it. Sonic is pretty cool, bro. He fights some nice battles, and the dialogue is always great. He's like the perfect balance of stoic and charismatic. Just like Michelle's cock. Okay, my apologies. I'd let go of my emotions there for a second. It's all good, Trump. Michelle is an amazing cook. Sonic as a character is pretty creative, but he also kind of sucks. What the fuck is wrong with his voice? Going D tier. Okay, what do you guys think about Minecraft, Steve? Come on, Joe. You know, with all the Minecraft binge sessions we have, you know, we got to put my boy Minecraft Steve into S tier. Yeah, Biden put him into S tier. Minecraft Steve has become the face of thousands of games and films since Minecraft came out. Hold on now, man. Minecraft Steve is just okay. I mean, sure, there are a lot of dick writers out there, Obama included, but that doesn't deserve an S tier. His outfit is so bland. Speaking of people who get no bitches, Minecraft Steve is that guy. I'm putting him into A tier for all that he's accomplished, but he is a bit bland. This protagonist seems pretty quiet. His name is Zelda. I mean, Link. One of the best protagonists around. With the time travel thing, you get to witness two sides of Link each with their own wonderful plot and character development. Oh, that tells me why you love the two sides of Michelle. Two character plots in one. Let him cook, you bastard. Yeah, bitch. So as I was saying, we have young Link and adult Link adding their own flair to the series. Plus, Link is always ready to take on a challenge, even in the face of defeat. A spirit of unwavering courage and adventure, which is what every protagonist should be. S-tier. S-tier my b-hole, Barack. Nice speech, Obama, you dickhead. All right, Trump, no reason to call my friend Obama over here a bellend. Excuse my language, sire. Link is a dumb protagonist. He's just like empty space. It's always so suspenseful when you're playing Zelda and you know exactly how Link is going to act. Look sad and make noises like a gerbil is literally up your asshole like Eminem in his song fact. Fucked up shit. He sucks. Also completely silent like Mario. Clones, I tell you. Fair points from both men. Link would be okay if he didn't sound like someone was putting a finger in his ass every five seconds. Gonna go C tier just because now it's got me thinking, and that's pretty gay. Not as gay as you, Joe. When I was growing up, gay meant happy. Not as gay as Hunter, then. For though that boy gay. Okay, how do you guys feel about Kirby? Voted. Kirby is the cutest, and he or she clearly has the best fashion sense, I'm just saying. No, no, Obama. Kirby was the first of the they are them species. This asexual blob is really just a goofy ass jigger. Put this hubba bubba transformer looking ass in trash tier. You can't say that, asshole. I said jigger with a J. Confirm no N words were used in the recording of this video. Is Kirby really that cool, Obama? He's just a pink bubble with big red shoes. Wait a minute. Oh, what if Kirby prophesies the big red shoe? Okay, I was going to put him into trash tier, but that makes me want to go D tier. Okay, next up we have Donkey Kong. Whatever. Donkey Kong is pretty cool. I liked him, but not as much as Mario or Link. He is a gorilla after all. Are we really supposed to develop a meaningful connection with him? You should yes, Obama. Whoa, Joe, this isn't the 1800s anymore. I got 32 dragonfire drones in my charging station ready to light up your entire hometown of Scranton with badminton birdie-sized missiles. Didn't Donkey Kong do that in Donkey Kong Country? Why am I here, God? Look, I always have respect for a man who knows how to dress. And that red tie on Donkey Kong and a perfect double Windsor knot just screams Trump 2024. So how can I go below S tier? That's actually funny, because I was wondering if you and Donkey Kong were the same person. Since I'm the only one without a connection with Donkey Kong, I'm going to be placing this into B tier for slightly above average, which is also Donkey Kong's corn star name. Okay, next up we have Master Chief. One of video gaming's finest soldiers. If Master Chief was Mario under the suit, though, I wouldn't be surprised. Seriously, though, Master Chief makes Samus look like the Wish version of him. I'd go A tier, though, because he doesn't say anything, and I'm suspicious that he might actually be that illegal Mario. That's fucking ridiculous. Master Chief is the goat. Jill sucks me off ten times harder when I put my Master Chief helmet on. I can see that. Something about Master Chief's suit and the way he carries himself is just pure sexy. It's like he knows he can take your bitch, but chooses to destroy alien invaders instead. What a true hero. S tier. Finally, an opinion that actually makes sense. S tier, baby. Oh, whoa. Now, Jill, too much teeth, too much teeth. Okay, how are we feeling about Franklin from GTA V? Not funny at all. And he's a tryhard. Sounds like an AI pretending to be black.
Franklin was pretty solid, always some good banter, but I agree they tried too hard to make him sound black. I think that was the best part of his whole character, honestly, that he was black. If he wasn't that opening scene, wouldn't have been the subject of thousands of meme videos being made. I'd go B tier. But you mean Dog Franklin was the Don? Always straight savage and speaking facts, yo. Oh God, he's doing his Jesse impression. That's not an impression. He just tries everything he can to get the African-American vote. Bro Franklin drinks 40S, smokes mad L's, and has a bong in every room of his house. That Hellcat, and he always holds his boy Lamar down. Okay, hello, cool, Joe. Take it easy. Franklin is pretty garbage. I go D tier. Nah, dog, y'all are tripping, but I'm gonna put him in B tier so you two busters will get off my big black dick. You heard? What's the lowdown on this snake fella from Metal Gear Solid? Please talk normal. Snake is a very good protagonist with a detailed background. His voice sounds like a mix of Arnold and 007. However, Mike Pence would do the same thing as Snake, but in the White House, totally uncalled for. We found him on the cameras, crawling in the air vents, inside furniture, and tiptoeing across various rooms. Kind of ruined it for me now, so I'd go A tier. Holy crap. I was wondering when you would finish talking. Snake is annoying. It's like he never has anything good to say. His dialogues are pretty boring, and he's too much of a Lara Croft spinoff. Fair point. I don't like snakes really either, so I'm going to go C tier. Anyway, that's all I have in me for today. It was hard deciding which protagonist to pick, so let us know in the comments what we should rank in the next video. Take care. Brush your hair. All right, y'all. I'm going to start dressing into a new outfit every day like a real Joe Biden would. Drop a shiny emoji in the comments if you love my new drip. Joe, you look like you went to Baby Gap, or to be honest, someone probably did it for you. Bro, my fit is so impulsive, it would make anyone subscribe. All you do is shill, bro. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Okay, vegetables, assemble. The king vegetable. What a glorious celebration. Sh I'm starting to think corn pop was a veggie tail. Zucchinis, carrots, asparagus, broccoli, eggplant, escargot. I summon the... A little bit overdramatic, bro. Seriously. Seriously what, Biden? Don't you know I can unclog your arteries and completely cure your massive heart disease? Have an ass. Shut up, bitch. Whoa, wah, womp. Okay, look, I have to put broccoli into S tier. If you learn nothing from this video, just know that broccoli is a miracle vegetable and can cure anyone's heart disease. Go to the gym after eating a pound of broccoli and you'll see what I mean. Craziest pumps of your life. For real, I don't even need a Viagra. I just down a head of broccoli. As the only one who doesn't take the blue pill to get it up, you too, I find this vegetable simply putrid. There's always that one rebellious schoolboy who doesn't learn his lesson. Eat your damn broccoli Obama S tier. Okay, what do you guys think about carrots? Donald is and a I don't mean Donald. Yeah, yeah. Come at me, bro. Okay, puss boys, are you happy now? I get you too much carrot and having ass. So predictable. And I bet you both love carrots too, don't you? Nutritious and delicious. Carrots are sweet, man. No, nah, bro, carrots aren't even good. They taste too much like the dirt they have been pulled out of. Remember Harry Potter when they pulled the sprouts of those plants and screaming orange kids out of the ground? <sighs> That's how motherfucking Donald over here was conceived. Better than being conceived in the Delaware River by bottom feeders like you, Joe. Gentlemen, settle down. Carrots have a sweetness, a crunchiness, and a savory taste all in one. They don't leave a bad taste in your mouth or feel like you're heating health food. I'd go S tier. Carrots taste really good, and the look is rather appealing. But it's an imposter. Takes one to know one, right? Shit doesn't look, feel, or taste like a vegetable. B tier. All right, what do y'all think about eggplant? Ooh, swing boner. Uh, you have serious issues. The emoji is better than the vegetable. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Maybe for you, Obama, if you catch my drift. Eggplant is good. The skin is my favorite part. But it is difficult to prepare properly. If done wrong, it can taste like a squishy fish dinner that was left in the sun for too long. Wow, Al, that's very descriptive and fucking disgusting, bro. I give it points for being a viable meat substitute, haven't you, goons? Ever had an eggplant parmesan? Obama, how do you not know how to pronounce parmesan? Look, I don't know why I can't pronounce it. Get off my back. I can get off it, but Michelle is staying there. I know she's so attached to it. You <sighs> Too much info, bro. I'm just going to put the eggplant into A tier. It tastes pretty solid with a lot of different things. Okay, what do we think about cabbage? I think I just started shitting. Yep, me too. I can't help but shit myself every time I hear the word cabbage. Oh yeah, that boiled cabbage is the best. I remember this shit used to fill me up back in the say because our parents were too poor to afford anything good. Yeah, I couldn't relate. 
My dad sold cabbage to the peasants, though. It was actually just plastic before plastic was mainstream. Actually, wait, is that why you are the way that you are, Joe? Yeah, it does make you shit more than any other vegetable, but all I do is shit most days, so I don't mind. Dude, that is not okay. Think about what it does to your colon. Probably flushes it out pretty well, actually, Trump, so it's a good thing, jackass. But no, Joe, don't be an idiot. Put this into trash tier. It tastes like you're eating leaves drenched in sewage. Yeah, okay, I can't argue that. I'll put it into D tier because it soaks up all the juices from cooking and then it can be tasty. Plus, red cabbage goes well with Greek food. All right, next up we have spinach. This is the best kind of lettuce there is. So much more flavor than regular lettuce. It's not a type of lettuce jackass, it's its own thing. Unlike lettuce, this shit actually tastes good. You don't need to tell me, Obama, my family still calls me Popeye, because I eats me spinach. That's not why they call you Popeye. In Corn Pop and Popeye, what a duo. In case you didn't get my joke, they call you that because you're old. Yeah, I get it, asshole. I may be old, but the high levels of iron and vitamins in this spinach make me feel like I'm four again. How do you even remember how that's like? I don't. I just think it's a great age. You're sick, bro. At the end of the day, spinach is just a fucking leaf, so I'll go... C tier. I eat leaves every day, Obama. What you know about that stick rock leaf combo? Go in B tier with this one. Okay. Next up, we have sweet potatoes, AKA yams. What the fuck is the difference between a sweet potato and a yam? Can anyone tell me? Yams are for Japanese people. You racist ass, you can't discriminate on yams in front of me. Yeah, that was fucked up. Haven't you ever heard of the Japanese purple yam? Uncultured swine. <sighs> No, what the hell is that? It's a special type of yam found in the Japan region. As the unofficial king of China and the Pacific Islands, this is a staple in my daily bodybuilding diet. How do you think I maintain these stunning physique, Joe? McDonald's? Well, yes, that plays a big part, but these yams have more nutrients than anything. Enough about the purple yam, you freak. Sweet potatoes are great, and you can even make a pie with them. Put some marshmallows and caramel sauce on it, and you have a great dessert. I'd go S tier for these. I'd also go S tier. It's a great source of carbs, which a lot of vegetables don't have. Plus, there are tons of fiber, and Obama forgot to mention the best thing about these fake ass potatoes. You can turn them into fries. You know, I was gonna go B tier until you brought that up. Fries are the best food in the world. No cap. If we could change the high schoolers' diet from an exclusive French fries diet to an exclusive sweet potato fried diet, we could make a real difference in the world. S tier for these. All right, I feel myself fading. I'm gonna knock the fuck out in two minutes, so bye. All right, guys, I'm the king of propaganda and media, so if you agree, drop a 100 emoji in the comments. Today, we'll be ranking TV shows, and I watch the most TV clearly as part of my MK Ultra experiment. Well, you aren't supposed to tell them that Joe and we also typed into your earpiece that the viewers should hit the like and the subscribe button ASAP. Plus, I had many more experiences in television than you, Joe. If The Apprentice is not on this list, then I will still consider us enemies and you a dementia-ridden old fart. Slandered Donald in the heart of good old-fashioned mudslinging. How do we feel about Drake and Josh? Oh, ho. Oh. The little sister was the ultimate mudslinger. That bitch and Drake made Josh's life miserable, kind of like how Joe makes both of our lives Come miserable. Come on, man. Great dynamic between those three. The little girl don't remember her name. It was like Gretchen or something. Don't care enough to look it up. Always had perfect timing. I can really relate to Josh. A loser always trying to do the right thing. I'd go S tier, guys. The show was nothing close to S tier, Donald. That shit was for teenagers and maybe some single moms. It deserves more of a B tier. I can't relate to Josh at all. He never knows what to say, stutters all the time, he's out of shape, and he has a weird habit of talking to really young girls. That's you, Joe. Exactly. I felt like Josh was just trying too hard to be me. C tier for me. How do you guys feel about SpongeBob SquarePants, or SpongeBob, as I sometimes call him? Calling him square pants is a little derogatory, so I just call him sponge pants. Your brain just hits different, Joe. Oh, SpongeBob, what a fantastic show. I knew you were a SpongeBob kind of person. Joe, you're basically Gary in human form, crab. Oh, shit, Cook Trump. Yeah, well, you're the human form of Mr. Krabs then. This is a hustler unlike your bum ass. Eugene is an asshole. Eugene would sell his daughter for some money. How much do you want for Ivanka? 30 bands. Holy shit, B. Check your Zell that's light. The art of the deal. You and Mr. Krabs are Jewish as hell, bro. 30 bands, you can't even buy a Jeep with that. Obama, I'll give you 15 bands for Michelle. Done deal. Thank you very much. Now I have 15,000 and a transformer for sale. Splendid. 
SpongeBob is all right. He has held a long reign as a superior TV star, and I respect that. But he is just a stupid buffoon that people laugh at, so I still want to give him C tier. Hey, fellas, I just have to interject here. Oh, fuck. Donald, care to explain yourself? I'm sorry, Zaddy Zubel, you. Saying sorry won't get you off easy, bud. SpongeBob is a masterpiece of creativity, animation, and caricature. Quite possibly the greatest TV show of our lives. So let me ask. Who the fuck do you think you or Donald put this into S tier at Heard once? you. And Donald, if I have reprimand your stupid ugly ass again today, I'm going to put you in time out. Shut the fuck up, George, next up. We have friends. I get to say whatever I want, motherfucker. This show sucks. It's Fairpoint Towers. To be honest, I've only ever heard women say they like this show. Um, I was actually going to say I like this show. Guys, what if Michelle is Michael and Obama is the female name of Obama? Wait, let him cook. I'm listening. I said it already, dipshits. Oh, right. Yeah, well, I think it's a perfectly sound theory. You know, Obama, has anyone ever told you you look exactly like Jada Smith? Oh, that's amazing. Trump, fuck you. Yeah, so running off that uh, this show sucks, anyone disagree? Yeah, me, but I want to get a jab in for this show. Not only does this show suck, it is probably the worst show I have ever seen all time, hands down. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, kind of like how the whole 9-11 thing doesn't make sense, George. Oh, don't you have some balls to suck Obama? All right, enough, Obama. You don't get to make fun of George. He's the key to our channel growth. George Bush is the future, not the past. You all know where this show's going. Okay, what do we think about Seinfeld? This is the whitest thing I've ever watched. Shut up, Obama. This show is a timeless classic. Really, the jokes take a bit of intellect, and they are more geared towards people who don't willingly take it up the ass. Ha, nice one, Donnie boy. The one thing that really grinds my gears is when people compare Friends to Seinfeld, they are in completely different universes like that Friends show is Buns, and Seinfeld is actually well thought out and funny. It's a classic, you gotta go S tier. Is there even one black person in the show? Listen, if you're not in Seinfeld, you ain't black. Quite a fair assessment. Yeah, exactly, it's all white people humor, and people love to say Friends lacks masculinity, However, Seinfeld definitely lacks some masculinity, especially without any brothers. Fair point, Donald. I've read the file. It is confirmed propaganda to condition men with the end result over time, being the creation of soy boys and the turtleneck and jeans combo that The Rock so blatantly emasculated. Gonna go a tear for Seinfeld. It's good, but we must not let the propaganda win. Okay, next up, we have Two and a Half Men. Two and a Half Men is a great show. The banter is pretty incredible. Much better than your banter, George. You pussy ass. The show isn't that great, but I do like Charlie Sheen humor. Mr. Sheen and I did a line off the toilet one time. It was pretty lit. Somehow that feels like a real story. The dynamic is really funny. I have a chuckle every time I watch this. But after knowing what Charlie was like, he shouldn't have been around kids. Who the fuck are you to say he shouldn't be around kids, Joe? Yeah, that's a load of horse shit, Joe. Don't know why everyone's afraid of a little sniffle action. Anyway, speaking of my sniffer, I smell something fishy, and it's called Deadliest Catch. A great showcase of the strength of the American people. Yeah, but I have crabs, so it ruins it for me. Joe, why does that matter? Aren't they both much different? And then we have people like this leading the United States. Oh, cry me a river again, Trump. You lost. Get over it. This show is amazing. Always very suspenseful, strategic. And the way you get to experience life at sea as a cameraman is fucking sweet. Also, I think Special Agent Towers has to go. What? No, ah. Uh... I feel a strange sense of welcome come over me. Joe, I know you're thinking S tier, as am I. Yeah, and that's where it's going. I already know Obama loves Deadliest Catch because Michelle used to be on the show back when her name was Miguel. But no, that's not accurate. Okay, moving on. What do we think of Lost? This show was good, but it pained me to see some of the stupidity that went on in that island. Yeah, Jack was smart, but everyone else seemed incredibly stupid. I'd give this show a C tier because it just wasn't good after the first season. The last cool part was that bunker they found in season two. Spot on, Obama, like a man at a bookache. Whoa, Enough now where's the bookache? Bukake, it sickens me. I'm going C tier as well, Joe. Okay, guys, didn't you think it was just a little bit above average, even just for those two seasons? No, George, I think you watch a little bit too much television. This is going C tier. What do we think about American Horror Story? Absolute fire. This show scared the living hell out of me. Yeah, you watch too much TV, George. This shit was so overhyped. It wasn't scary at all, just weird. The first couple of episodes gave me the creeps, but after that, it was just odd. What? How are you not creeped out watching this Obama? What kind of fucked up life do you have where this show doesn't scare you?
Geez, it's called life, bro. The show was too scary for me. I had to close my eyes during the first season. But after that, it was painful to watch. Way too dramatic, almost to the point of hyperbole, which is not a pleasant literary device when overused. Having articulated this teleprompter script successfully, I'm putting AHS into trash tier. Joey boy, you know those teleprompters saved my ass in office too. I know George, you dumbass. Okay, next we have the Big Bang Theory. You really picked the worst shows to rank. Yeah, Joe. Why is everything from the 90s and shit? Can't you remember a TV show newer than 1985? Come on, man. People still watch this show. It's on Channel 11 all the time. Oh, my God. Ew. Someone who still watches live TV. George, we all know what the worst moment on national television was, so I don't doubt that. Yeah, so this show sucks. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, you know, I never was a fan of this shit either. That guy who looks like a hamster always made me cringe. Okay, trash tier, what do you guys think of Dexter? It was good, but I don't know what the fuck hey we're thinking on this new season. Uh, I see what you mean. It was Buns the last season, but George, no need to crash the tower just because one of the floors is messed up. Fuck me, bro. Can't you use some better fucking analogies, bro? The country is going down in flames. Isn't there anything good to say about this show? There is a nice element of surprise there. Plus, it always feels relieving to see some pieces of shit get theirs. Oh, that's my favorite type of humor. Nobody knows what I'm going to say next. It's hilarious. I'm sorry, Obama. God, Joe, you know that shit can give you seizures. Oh, God. Look, the show has some funny moments, although I admit it's corny most of the time. Besides being a little humorous, the plot and the way they filmed this makes me think A-tier. Every episode was a thrilling chess game of strategic moves, culminating in an amazing capture and disposal. Yeah, I like that he uses horse tranquilizer, too. That's my favorite type of bean. What's wrong with that? Joe, taking any kind of medicine is actually a good thing. Well, I think he means recreational drug use, not medicating. So what dipshit they clear his mind anyway? Dexter is a truly great show, pretty recent, and there are lots of seasons. I need a lot of hours of television to watch when I eat my Sprinter Van McDonald's hauls. Oh, go get yourself a Donald, ladies. You know, I really like this show a lot. The fact that Dexter is a blood spatter analyst actually gives a great insider espionage feel as he always knows things that nobody else does. Well said. Dexter has a complicated love life, supporting a stepson and having some sort of weird relationship with his sister, very similar to my own love life. I'm going to put this into A tier because it was really an amazing show for a very long time. Only reason it doesn't go S tier is because the ending was stupid and the newest season is vastly worse. Okay, what do we think about ridiculousness? If I wanted to see a bunch of bloopers, I'd just watch one of your speeches, Joe. Watch this dick slap across your face. Pause. Whoa, Nelly, no need to kamikaze cock anyone. This isn't that kind of show. Rob Durdick is a legend. I'm really happy to see him moderate all these wacky videos. Very lighthearted and fun, but I'd go B tier since I like other mindless shows better like Family Feud. Yep, this is office music for sure. Not always, Joe. A lot of bad parents leave this on for their kids to watch while they go neglect them. It's pretty stupid I'm going trash tier. You're pretty stupid, Donald. This show is just for entertainment. I'd go A tier because it is really very funny, but too much can turn you into a lazy sack of shit. Something beautiful in the downfall, watching it all burn to the ground. This show is going A tier. I can't see people get hit in the nuts enough times. All right, Breaking Bad. Amazing show, although drug dealing is always going to be entertaining. Well, I'm the only one who doesn't flip drugs or smoke them besides those measly Valiums, and I still love this show. It's an S-tier, don't play dumb Obama. Obama, aren't there enough explosions in this show for you to enjoy? Yeah, there were. I always thought that was fun. Uh, but I'm going to go B-tier. Put your hands behind your back, you criminal. This shit is going into S-tier right now. Okay, next up we have the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You better go S-tier for this and you all know why. Is it because you look exactly like Jada Smith? Well, George, you know, there's really nothing more fucking annoying than you. Well, let me annoy you some more. Trash tier for the Fresh Prince. Okay, that's too far, jackass. It's really not. Uncle Phil was very relatable and Carlton was an absolute gem, but following Will Smith around was pretty ass. Looking at him now just reaffirms my feelings. Following Will was a hysterical experience, George. Yeah, George, what you got against Big Willie? I know you and Obama have nothing against Big Willies, right, Trump? George, George, what are you saying? The Big Willies, I don't understand. The Fresh Prince always had a clean fade, and I appreciate a great haircut, so it was nice following Will around. Of course, the Republicans sound gay, talking about Big Willies and nice fades and shit. You should get your left ear pierced, Trump. Nah, thought about it, but after piercing it in Canva with a hanging cross earring, I didn't like the look.
Going to go B tier on this one, guys. Well, this is a tough one, but I thought this show had something a lot of shows don't soul. Yes, the character development was riveting. It was fascinating knowing the ins and outs of what was happening with the Smiths. You know, my heart is telling me C-tier Obama because now I just watched the old Carlton scenes and that one scene with Uncle Phil. Okay, what do you guys think about Scrubs? You know, it's Great choice, Joe. Seeing as I have a great passion for health, this show is hilarious. What, because you're always in the hospital for heart disease risk? Who are you, my mother? He could be knowing what we know now. Oh, I'm something of a doctor myself. I really love this show, too. The doctor with the curly blonde hair always had my ass on the floor laughing. Kurt and J.D. were the best friend duo on television. The puns, the brotherhood, I mean, the rapport is just off the charts. Yeah, I gotta go S tier. This shit was goofy as fuck, and the nurses made me blow my load. How do you guys feel about Brooklyn Five-Nine? Jizzed in my pants. You the type, George. No class. Lovely imitation, George. Samberg's greatest work. I wonder whatever happened to the other guy he made the song with. Yeah, that guy was really funny. The old chap should have stuck with music, though. That was his true calling. I'm going D tier for this one. It just wasn't that funny. Sure, it had its moments, but the bad parts were exceptionally cringe. I cringe every time I hear your southern hick voice, George. Easy there, Donald. This show was funny. I always loved the dynamics of funny cops at the station. Then again, fuck the cops, my ass gets swampy every time I get pulled over now that I'm not in the presidential ride going B tier with this one. Both jizzed in my pants and this TV show were definitely unique. Although it missed the mark in some aspects, I love anything proprietary and quirky enough to make me feel uncomfortable. Out of respect, I'd go B tier. There you have it, right into C tier. I've heard all of your stupid ass opinions and conclude this is mid as hell. Okay. Now subscribe to the channel because I'm about to bust a nut. I'm going B tier for this. Clearly an S tier man. Isn't it ironic that Obama is ranking milk when his wife is a man? What's ironic about that? Maybe he just likes prostate milk. Joe, that was putrid, even for my outrageously gay ass. Putrid gay ass. Say what now? Drop a sun emoji in the comments if you aren't following. A good one, Joe. It's not a good one, Donald. Fuck off my dick, bro. You would love that, wouldn't you, gay boy? Shut your dry, crusty ass up, Trump. First up, we have whole milk. Too chunky, bro. Why hasn't anyone called you whole milk, then? You're too chunky, Trump. God, fuck you guys. Whole milk is disgusting. Can't even put this one too close to my mouth because it smells, smells funny, funny, too. There's nothing wrong with it. Drink your milk, Donnie. Joe, I'm two seconds away from slapping you silly. Whole milk is way too thick and creamy for me. Becomes too heavy to drink with cookies and really would only drink this if I was in a dire situation. Even then, no way, bro. You're really a fucking milk hater, aren't you, Donnie? Whole milk is the OG milk. Back on the farm, that's all a young corn pop flake would drink. Two in the morning, two in the evening, and two at night. Jesus, you're a dairy fiend. Yes, that was one of my many nicknames. I'd go S tier. You can't have any of the other milks without this one. Bitch, this ain't even real milk. This is like cream or just straight semen, to be quite frank. What about Frank Semen? Oh, yes, who is this Frank character? And oh my God, get the whole milk off of your mouth, Obama. Um, that's not whole milk. Is it Dunkaroo cream? I must be having a fucking nightmare. Yes, Joe, exactly. How'd you know? It's nine in the morning, you got Dunkaroo cream on your face? I don't buy it. Yeah, Manchel definitely could have just had some morning dome. Fuck my life. Okay, whole milk is a great milk, lots of flavor, creaminess, but it's way too hard to wipe off my face. What? Bro, disgusting. Didn't know that was one of the ranking criterias, you sick pervert. I'm with Trump on this one. That was some fatherless shit you just said, but you're right. It's every hard to wipe off the face, but also delicious. Milk mustaches for days. And nothing wrong with that. Malfeasance like that is a finable offense. Yeah, Trump is correct. That is a little bit of a violation, bro, bro. No, your entire pathetic existence is a violation, Trump. Like how cows make too much pollution. So do you on a significant global scale. Not gonna lie. I hate seeing gay ass Obama be right about something, but you basically produce your own cloudy, gaseous atmosphere and have an aura of Cheeto dust around you. Okay, move the fuck on, Simps. Please, I have things to do. All right, fine, Trump. Don't get your Speedo all twisted. Gonna go with B tier just to please your needy ass. Okay, what do we think about 1%? Reduced fat, Obama. You reduce any more fats, you're just gonna be a bag of bones like Joe. Who are you calling a bag of bones, Donald? You sleepy, sit the fuck down. Okay, no need to turn this into WWE showdown. Trump. Shut up, cocksucker. Whoa, now, Joe. I can't take my eye off you two man children. Obama, you look like a preteen below the neck. And you know, 1% is a great milk, always the default with some Oreos. You would eat a whole pack of Oreos in one sitting fat ass. You would need to give Donald a kiddie pool of milk and hope his buoyant ass doesn't fall in. Ha ha ha, cracks me up. Nah, bro, I'll crack you upside the head. Fuck you guys. Even though I drink this with Oreos, the milk is reduced fat. I'm sorry, Donald, but I can never respect a big orange Macy's day parade balloon. Remember when they fought Barney and popped him back in like 2004?
Joe enough with the irrelevant shit. 1% is pretty good still, although you know I like it creamy. Ugh, gross. So fucking blatantly gay. What? Did I hear some 70-year-old virgins talking shit? Obama, I've only ever heard about you blowing pipe and bending over. Quiet, bro. Please, I'm finna stay low-key. I can neither confirm nor deny those allegations. Ha, of course. Right, so moving back to the topic at hand, 1% is great and definitely the best reduced fat option. I'm gonna throw this into A tier. You just rating the thickness or? Shut it. Okay, what do you think about 2%? I swear he's rating these based solely on thickness. No dipshit, I'm ranking them in. Order of thickness or fat or cream or jizz or whatever you wanna call it. There's a difference. Whoa, now chill with that shit, bro. Yeah, honestly, chill, bro. I don't know why this milk is always sold out when I go. Because it's the best milk, Donald. Reduce the fat to an iota, but it still tastes like milk. Too watery for me, bro. We know you like your milk thick, creamy, and full of sperm. Whoa, now, asshole, can we just rank the milk now? I rank it in S tier. Okay, let's not put the Mexicans before the wall here. 2% is great, but it's a little too thin. And like I said, it's always sold the fuck out. I can never find that purple cap milk on deck. Gotta go C tier. I'm cool with that, Trump. Not cool with you, though, Biden, you old, ugly head ass. You're gonna throw this into C tier. Next, what do we think about almond milk? Not real. You're not real, bro. Nut milk is the best milk. Susser than a sarsaparilla soda. Oh yeah, milk that nut BB girl. Obama, snap out of it. Your gay tendencies are giving me COVID. How does one milk a nut? Let me tell you. First, first, let's play the quiet game. Why I want to hear Obama. No, you don't, Joe, you walking zombie. You know, almond milk is actually quite nice and early the healthiest option. How can you support almond milk when it tastes like absolute shit with Oreos? True, I didn't think about that actually. Thank you for the constructive criticism. Fucking bitch ass, stop eating three square McDonald's orders per day. Thank you for the constructive criticism, but also no. Okay, yeah, so I'd put this shit into B tier. It's a nice alternative to milk, and we keep finding out more horrific shit about dairy every minute. That makes no sense, Trump. How do you know this is better than milk if you don't even know where it comes from? Not like you can jack off an almond. I've tried that. Some things you can't control hearing, and they will keep you up literally all night. Next up, what do you guys think about skim milk? Love skim milk. Please, I'm gonna throw up. Shut the fuck up, Obama. You shut the up. Uh, holy hell. I just drank a whole half gallon of skim milk straight out the gallon. Joe, you the type to drink it out the gallon. Probably one of the most disgusting behaviors a human being can have. Y'all aren't real men. Shut the fuck up right now, bro. Can't hold this shit back much longer. Y'all really have never drank a gallon in your wife beaters in the morning. You telling me that if you fell right now, there would actually be enough calcium to keep your skeletal system intact? I don't know. Next time I brave the Air Force One stairs, I'll let you know. Good looks, bro. Skim milk is definitely not milk. Extremely disgusting liquid, like you might as well just drink water. I have a major problem with your fat ass mentality. Skim milk is great to put in your coffee to keep it from being unhealthy while making it taste better. Would definitely go see tire for that at least. You know what, bro? Since you didn't rank this one based on the thickness, I must reward your tame behavior. That being said, it's still going in D tier. Breast, I mean. Oat milk? Breast milk, obviously, yeah. We all love breast milk. Never had it. I believe that. Can anyone tell me what it tastes like? We're ranking oat milk, you freaks. You're the one who got me thinking about breast milk dog. Uh, me too. I've always wondered what that tastes like. When do you even get to suck on some titties that produce milk for you? In between pegging rounds with Michelle, I guess. I don't know what the fuck kind of shit you do, Obama. I only hear the stories. Thought you didn't follow the news? I don't, but whenever Obama gets caught slobbing knob or indulging in the crazy dust, it always spreads like a meth lab on fire. Super hot fire analogy. So what's good with oat milk, you ask? Well, it has more flavor than almond milk, in my opinion. And it does taste a bit like oats. Yeah, but I still have the same question. How do they keep milking random foods? It makes me wonder what the fuck milk even is. Get your deranged thoughts off the mic. Yeah, I wonder what the hell milk is too. Fair. Now I'm even thinking about it. Uh, so yeah, wh what's good with oat milk? I have no fucking idea. What's Gucci with oat milk? Nothing. Huh? Yeah, same nothing to say about this. Haven't drank it in years. All right, Herbos, it's time to go, but we need to get higher in the rankings. If you are still watching, please click any buttons that would help the channel. We got to get to the moon. All right, goodbye. All right, listen, you slow brain, slow twitch muscle fibered hooligans today, we are ranking headphones. If you think Joe wears something in his ear 24 seven, hit the like button. Bro, how are you still upset about the election? And yes, I'd be balling my ears, always got some drip. Nah, you ain't ready for this, homie. I changed my headshot just for this. So just wait and watch while I stunt on you dumb hoes. Excuse me, I ain't playing no games with you fuckwits. What do you think about AirPods? The CIA loves this shit. Oh, yep, yep. Here, here, doll, you right. Oh, shut up, Biden. 
Oh, flippity flip flack, I got my flipping JBLs wet. Sad. Wait, Joe, did you jump in the shower with them? But he hopscotch. No, I did a cannonball into my bathtub, and now my backbone and four of my vertebrae are fractured. Joe, are you batshit insane? Uh, gotta be something like that, right? Guys, I promise I'm all right, I swear. Uh, Joe, you can't lie. You really have no fucking common sense. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to throw my AirPods in. These are pretty much wireless headphones that only fit in lizard people's ears. So I prove. Really, yes. The lizard Zuckerberg scratches your lizard back. Wouldn't it just be rough, scaly skin? Like armor. Yeah, you graduated from the McDonald's drive through so what the fuck would you know? I'll give you 30 terabytes of big old OG Mudbone compilation if you don't shut your ass up. Looks like you owe me 30 terabytes of mud bones moans. You're sick. I read the CIA file on these AirPods, and these shits are literally destroying you from the inside out. Gonna throw these into trash tire. What do you gay geeks think about JBLs? Well, mine just fell in the bathtub, so fuck them. Yeah, that's a shame, Joe, you boring, childish fuck. JBLs perform better than Dre Beats and a lot of other big brands. Uh, half that price tag and the shit is fucking fire. Stupid ass take. You must have been doing some crack before you hopped on the mic. Oh, suck my ass, bitch. That's what I would say to the JBL CEO if he were here right now. Okay, I don't really give a fuck, dude. I'm going S tier. You don't give a fuck so much that your wife has a penis. Dude, enough with that shit. I'm straight. Look at your clothes, dude. Go to any bar and you'll walk out with 15 dudes in 15 seconds. You must be living in La La Land if you think Obama can pull like that. Yeah, he definitely can't. But Joe, shut the fuck up because you are literally the king of La La Land, you zesty bastard. JBLs are going into A tier. What do y'all think about Skull Candies? Bro, this shit is busting so many different dope colorways to choose from. Obama? What? I used to make fun at any kid in school who had skull candies on their head. Like, the bright colors and protruding plastic skull logo just made it low-hanging fruit. So basically, you look like a fucking dweeb. Didn't need to tell me that Donald Obama weighs negative eight kilos. You would use kilos as a measurement, Biden, you fucking drug addict. Hurry up and give your take so I can go back to doing actual work instead of sleeping and eating ice cream. Look, you literally look like little Bill. You fucking racist ass. Fuck this tier list already. You're so quick to fuck everything up. Ain't no way the guy who drive gas up to five dollars is talking the skull candies are going B tier because in my adult life, I have come to appreciate the sound quality of these headphones. What do you guys think about Bose? Bose, I'm super scared right now. I'm gonna get fucking pierced. Chill the fuck out, you fucking weasel. Nobody is going to shoot you with a bow, Joe. Bose has been around forever. Been around longer than Joe. No, wait, that can't be right. Wow, I can't believe I got played like that. Believe it, loser, these headphones have great sound quality, but the design is stupid and the price is outrageous. I'm leaning a lot towards D-tier for these. D-tier, Donald. What the fuck? These are really great headphones. Just keep your stupid opinions to yourself, Obama. I have Bose speakers all over my house and my car and my boat and my bicycle, and I still can't ever hear that shit. That's just because your five senses don't work. You're like Anne Frank with a bad case of dementia and no one is holding your hand. I find it hilarious that you say my five cents is broke, but you can't even see your own meat. When I shit, my meat touches the water so I can say whatever the hell I want. And yes, fuck you, Obama and Joe. I'm going to put this into C tier. And can't wait to hear all you nerds in the comments writing L take or I'm unsubscribing. Uh, yeah, unsubscribing is really a beta NPC thing to do. Ha! Thanks for the support, Obama. Oh, I'll fuck you, Trump. You know I hate your stupid orange ass. This orange ass is hotter than anything you've ever seen before. If you don't stop, I'll bone your husband and make her like it. What do y'all think about Dre Beats? They're just called Beats, Donald, you stupid ass. They're actually called Beats by Dre, bro. Cut my boy Dre out and I'll cut your neck. You fake ass fraud, Obama. Trying to cut out my homie, Dr. Dre. The only doctor you're friends with is Dr. Pepper. Ooh, that was a spicy one, Obama. Joe, shut your zesty ass up. Dre Beats aren't the best and they aren't the worst, but they look cool and help me rep the blood, so I'd go A tier. The quality is almost as trash as the price tag. Like when you try and get people to pay for your fucking uh, wall, Donald, and they just get Joe for four years instead. Make that eight bitch boy butter bitch. Bro, you'd think there was butter on the, those Air Force One stairs. There are, bro, I swear, the guards need to stop eating lobster rolls near the stairs. Okay, so the DRA beats always looked cool and all the cook kids had them. Even me, of course, I'm cool kids. I'd go B tier though, because they don't really feel too comfortable on my bony head. Well, I guess if you have a warlock's head, they aren't too comfortable. Yeah, I'll go B tier. The quality to price ratio just doesn't add up. And I don't think they really have that Simon Cowell it factor. So it'll be a no from me. Okay, if you made it this far, hit the subscribe button. Why are you wasting our time? Peace, muchachos. Hello, 
folks. Welcome. Hit the like button. Oh, wow. Look at this. Obama has control over the oil again. Yeah, sheesh. I wonder how this is going to turn out. I know, right? Hey, wait a minute. Joe, the gas prices are literally almost as high as Obama's gas prices. You dickhead. Uh, please spare me the fucking misery. You two old coots couldn't even pump my gas. I probably own half the gas stations you fill up at, and therefore I definitely do. Yeah, because you probably get trigger happy and set the pump on fire before I could even get to it. Oh, God, everything is moving so fast right now. Another fucking anxiety attack. Oh, my God, bro. You're like that kid gating from Stranger Things. Always shit in your pants every time you feel a little pressure. Get your ass into shape, soldier. We have gas stations to rank. Sir, yes, sir. Michelle. There he is. My man. Yes, that's my dog, Joe. Okay, where's the ball gag? Uh, uh hmm, that was uncalled for. All right. Uh, okay, guys, let's just start this list off with Shell. Mm, turtles have no place at gas stations. This is a mockery of the green energy movement, and I'm surprised Greta hasn't shut it down yet. Let me call her. No, don't, Joe. I literally think she is the devil. Very creepy and disturbed kid. When I was her age, I was rolling Scooby Blunts and playing GameCube with the boys. She's not normal. Shut the fuck up, Obama. You're not normal, you prostate dairy cow. Whoa, whoa, Joe, you disgusting, dirty old man. Why did you have to bring prostates into the mix? Yeah, I guess that was uncalled for. Look, Shell stations are pretty good. They usually have great gas prices, but the convenience store is severely lacking in chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Oh, la lord. I can see where these rankings are going. Wait, butt liquor, let him cook. Shell should definitely have ice cream. Uh, OK, below average convenience stores and great deals on gas. I get it, boys. Let's go beat here with this one. Uh, next up, what do we think about Sunoco? They have good ice cream sandwiches, but no chocolate chocolate chip still. It makes me so mad. You're not even the least bit scary, you little frail mouse of a human. OK, well, I'm going to go C tier. Don't even think it deserves that. They always inflate the fuck out of the gas prices. It's like Sunoco has its own gas prices instead of the ones that the regulators use. You know, Obama, I find you to be somewhat of a dickhead, but I really love that statement you just made. It deserves trash tier, Sunoco Estabasura. Uh, stop talking like you speak Spanish, you fake orange Mexican. Sunoco is distinguishable. You can always find a Sunoco nearby. So it's reliable, but... Of course, Obama has a mo issue with the inflated prices. Shut your McDonald's greased lips, Donald, before I make out with you right now. Wait, what? I thought we were ranking things. Did I accidentally join the Circle Jerk Discord? No, Joe, you greasy old eel. Fine, Donald, I'm gonna go trash tier. <laughs> Don't bitch and moan at me for gas money. Next time we go for a 2 a.m. McDonald's run. Fine then, Obama, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Donald. Okay, what do you guys think about BP? Let me go check if I left my gas cap open. Give me one second. Oh my God, if only someone with a brain was here to rank these with me. BP is responsible for the largest oil spill in history and the gas burns faster than the Snoop Dogg blazes half grand pre-rolls from the dispensary. Horrible analogy, bitch made pussy ass Obama has absolutely not an ounce of humor in that skinny frame of his. Donald, please shut the fuck up and rank the damn gas station. All right, so no cap Obama, BP has a pretty solid convenience store. Always comes through with some kind of nick stick for when Donald needs to crank it before a big meeting. Hey guys, I just came back. So I always let the attendant pump my gas while I go inside and get the stick. Take a fat rip, then go inside and undo my fly. What did I miss? Oh, oh wait, I can't listen to this. So basically BP is British Petroleum and I don't even know where all that oil comes from. But if it comes from the right territories, the gas can last a pretty decent amount. I would love to Goomba stomp on your face though for just a fraction of the story I just heard spewing from the colon of your mouth. Wow, Joe, did you drink the gasoline or something? Because you are on fire. I'm gonna throw this into D tier. Can't say I don't get gas here twice a week, but that doesn't make me hate it any less. Okay, what do you guys think about mobile? Mobile has a rewards program. I can appreciate their prioritization of loyalty. What the fuck, Donald? Uh, this is your fourth wife. You don't know a fuck's pinky about loyalty. Joe, what did I just hear you, lunatic? Mobile has chocolate chocolate chip ice cream, I'm pretty sure. So please go back to sleeping in your car. You right, that European leather just hits different. I'll be back later. Nah, get your ass over here right now. What? Oh shit, okay, bro. The gas is always overpriced. I noticed they sometimes lower the price for a day and then bait and switch that shit the next day to like three points higher. It's like they just hope you don't notice. You're fucking delusional. You probably have a panic attack every time you have to pull out your wallet to get gas. You'd think he drinks gasoline the way he's shaped. I'd love to get an oil drill down there and use it to replace the Keystone pipeline. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go B tier. They have great mini marts with lots of different snacks, a large variety of drinks, and sometimes they even have for real milkshakes. 
Those shits are fire. Okay, what do you guys think about Speedway? I have a star membership card at Speedway. Actually, love getting the mint Hershey's and gas discounts. Ooh, yeah. They even have little niblets of food that are made perfect for an old geezer like myself. Acceptance is the first step in improvement. What a wonderful moment. Get your fairy ass off the microphone, bitch. These gas stations are really the only gas stations that market themselves properly. I, I just want my gas cheap and fast and maybe a candy bar or something. I'm gonna go A tier. Valero? Valero Schmalero, bro, this is so irrelevant. Why the fuck you even put this on the list you sped? Pipe down, he doesn't write the fucking cards, dumbass. Why do you have to be so mean? Shut your old farting ass up. <laughs> Whoa, smells like petroleum. God, I'm eating you, asshole. Uh, hell nah, Biden. You really sniff your farts after? Why the fuck does that surprise you? I don't know, Obama. Maybe because I'm actually normal, you skinny bitch. Valero sucks. Yeah, I don't even remember the last time I gassed up here. It took me a few hours just to remember what this gas station was. Trash tier, basura tier. You know, what the hell is this tier? All right, next up we have Turkey Hill. It's tier. This place is like an ice cream parlor with gas. Yeah, no, the Indian is basically squatting on my land. We can't put this fucking un-American horse dropping into S tier. Whoa, now hold the fuck on, Donald. What are other gas station logos, bro? A damn seashell, a green circle, a fucking red line. Obama, the more you talk, the more I feel like your nuts are no longer there. But you know I do see your point, you soft light skin ass. What's wrong with having light skin? Mine is basically transparent. Biden's skin looks like a fucking layer of a Pillsbury layer biscuit. It's like if a guy were to wrap himself in albino bat skin. Thank you very fucking much for the image. Okay, hamina, hamina, whoopty fucking do. Gonna throw this into a tear. Fuck you, Donald, you dumb bitch. Fuck you too, sweetheart here. Yeah, you see that? No, I can't fucking see you, dipshit. Giving you the finger right now. Okay, keep it together for three fucking seconds. Okay, uh, you orange dim sum dumpling looking ass. How do you guys like golf? Always has a Dunkin' Donuts and has the beat coffee of the gas stations. I got to go S tier. Prices are very reasonable as well. Plus, golf just sounds like the right name for a gas station, you know? Yep, I feel you, Donald. I'd love to golf some gas. Nah, bro, you don't feel me. Your brain is in second gear permanently. It just doesn't shift until gently rolling off a cliff. Your fat ass on coffee. Don't you sweat enough already? Ready. Attacking someone's weight, Joe. You have to do better, bro. It's basically a free roast, Obama. I get that shit from you anyway. Golf stations are good, but like I was trying to say, no chalk chalk ice cream, so I'm going C tier. All right, you're cooked harder than the dry rub on a rack of overcooked ribs. Golf's going into A tier. The Mart is always pretty good, but the prices are really not too bad either. Finally, what do we think about Exxon? Please help, because I'm sick of ranking fucking gas stations, dude. Like, I really could not give one single solitary fuck which gas station I go to. Thanks, Obama. I'm sure the viewers really appreciate your whiny ass. Even though you're the youngest, I think we should take you to an elderly home. Run it back, bro. He took me there two years ago. It was lit. Oh, I want to show you the aquarium. I'd rather throw Donald into an aquarium of hungry piranhas and leeches than do that with you. Sorry, my boy. That's wild. Chill, Dr. Evil. ExxonMobil is hit or miss. What the hell can you even say about this, Obama? I'm out of here. Say hi to Mini-Me for me. Maybe he can replace Michelle and suck you off or something, you gay hooker. Deuces. Why are my pants wet? You know what? Trashed here. Okay, fuck this shit. I'm out. Sup y'all, today we'll be hitting the like and subscribe buttons, then we will be ranking Eminem songs, sound good. Well, the real Slim Shady, please ugh, take off your pants. Sick fuck, leave something white in the comments if you think Joe looks like Slim Shady in his 90s. All right, shut the fuck up, we're starting with Lose Yourself. Why start with this one dipshit? Because I can lose myself in your eyes. Wow, that was really gay, Trump. This song is like the mascot of Eminem and the basis of the movie, Eight Mile. Oh, would people even know this cracker if he didn't drop this? Maybe not, but would anyone even know you, Joe, if it wasn't for me? Oh, uh, 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 uh. That's what I thought, bitch. All right, I think we can throw this into S tier. Definitely slaps and is really poetry to my ears. All right, how do we feel about white America? White people shit. Your mom is a white bitch. Is that even a dig? It's the truth. My mom would always blast this while she hung the laundry up outside. It just made me sick of this shit. <laughs> I can't even imagine you rapping this song, Obama, even though you could, it would probably sound so fucking weird. Oh, I'm so fucking hungry. White America is okay. I really like when he says, cause Congress keep telling me I ain't causing nothing but trouble. Bet you can really relate to that when you jerk off of one of a president. Let's be real, bro. He beat you in the election, pussy. Nuff said ho. Oh, and you're fat. Fuck you, ooh, bro. Rigged, rigged, so fucking rigged. Rigged like Putin's strap on, ready to enter your gargantuan behind. Rigged like the fucking $1 million loan from your father, you useless sack of shit. Obama, do you know that as the president, you can just print as much fucking money as you want? Stop bitching and moaning and crying and being a little horny gay elf. 
Uh, bro, with the current record-breaking inflation rate, yeah, I did that, bitch. That million would be worth $69 trillion today. No fucking way it's that high, Joe. Well, actually, fuck face. I'm looking at the numbers right now, and yesterday that million would only be worth $420 billion. Right, so even after all of this discussion, I have no idea where to put this. I think this was Am's biggest shot at getting political, and I hate when entertainers get political. Like, you sold your soul to the devil, and now you want to talk shit. Okay, bro, gonna go D-tier. How do you guys like the song, Fack? Seriously twisted, but also lyrical genius. Shove that gerbil up my ass. Only Eminem could make that sound good. This is my favorite Eminem song. Oh, it's such a masterpiece. Fack, 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 S-tier. Fack, oh my facking fack. Fack my ass, daddy. Ah. Someone please get these sick, twisted fucks some pills. There's no way I'm putting this into S-tier, you freaks. You better do it, bitch, oh, or I'm gonna fack and fack Melania. I got 300,000 pesos right here with her name on it. Hey, this is depraved lunacy. You're barking up the wrong tree, Donald. Joe, you fackin' nut job. Oh, fack, fack, that fackin' tree really fack my ass. Oh, fack, here it comes again. Joe, you fackin' nut job. All right, stop saying fack, you dirtbags. Oh, fack, the fackin' landscapers are at my fackin' house with their fackin' loud lawnmowers and fackin' weed whackers and shit. Please just shut the fuck up. What the fuck are they even doing here so fackin' early in the fackin' morning? Bro, it's starting to get weird. The song is lyrically impressive, but I also think it's a little... Ch oh, fuck, I am. Oh, but it feels so fucking good. Oh, you're so fucking hot. And I'm so fucking hot. Oh, no, your finger just went in my ass. Holy shit, what if Eminem was foreshadowing what it looks like in Joe Biden's mind? This is so horrifying. Shut the fuck up, Donald. Throw this song into fucking S-tier before I fucking fuck you up, fuck face. Chill, bro. This shit isn't... S tier, you brain dead ass. Yeah, this can't go S tier. Oh, are you crazy? Well, I, I guess I know the answer to that. Next up, what do you think about without me? <laughs> see, now the FCC won't let me be or let me, me, so let me see. They try to shut me down on MTV, but it feels so empty without me. Two trailer park girls going round me outside, round me outside, round me outside. So come on, dip, bum on your lips, fuck that. Come on your lips and some on your tits and get ready because this shit is about to get heavy. I just settled all my lawsuits. Fuck you, Debbie. Little hellions, kids feeling rebellious, embarrassed their parents, still listen to Elvis. They start feeling like prisoners helpless till someone comes along on a mission and yells, I'm a bitch. And the fact that I got everyone kissing my ass and it's a disaster, such a catastrophe for you to see so damn much of my ass you asked for me. Well, I'm back, da na 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 Ha, heck yeah, you rock Obama. All right, knock it the fuck off. Shit just got weird. The video is just as entertaining as the song. The Elvis and Robin costumes were just too funny. What was with that toilet scene, though? Yeah, pretty odd, not gonna lie. Odd? You're so fucking odd, bro. You should have been the orange Pikmin in Pikmin 3. Eh? Probably would have made the game epic instead of boring. Yeah, Obama, why would you even bring that up? I don't get it. So random, bro. All right, this is going into S tier. Uh, catchy, lyrically amazing, humorous. This is a 10 out of 10 track. <laughs> Iconic. How do we feel about Haley's song? Haley's hot as fact. Fact, Haley is such a hot blonde, just my type. No, she's 20 now, right? Oh, well, I guess she's not that hot. Joe, please stop. The feds have been on my ass lately. Yeah, too many visits to Epstein's Island. Shut your mouth, Trump. I'm just running up these bands. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Broke boy, you can't make money unless you take it from the American people. You even take BBC every night. All right, well, back to the song, you idiots. Haley's song is pretty sweet. It's for his daughter, and it is actually pretty catchy with a great beat. Yeah, asshole, the beat is better than the actual song. It was probably Sleepy Joe on the beat, bro. Wouldn't you know if that were the case, Sleepy? The song itself is pretty buns, bro. There's a reason why this really tanked compared to M's other songs. Fair, I'm gonna go B tier because it's still slightly above average. I can bump this for a decent vibe. All right, what do we think about Space Brown? Very touching story. Reminds me of meeting with the aliens for the first time. Uh you fuckwit. We're not supposed to expose the Masonic secrets. Yeah, well, come on, man. We built the entire country and have held this shit secret for centuries. You really want to risk it all for a dumb YouTube video? Ah, uh, you weenie head. That's exactly why I should be the one ranking things and also why I won the last election. I just care more, bro. You know, he has a very fair and valid point there, Trump. Get the hell off my patriotic cock, Obama.
I am what the bald eagle is to America. You could never achieve what I have. Space-bound rocket ship and America's heart is the moon. Those landings were fake, bro. What have you been watching Bryce Mitchell lately? Obama, communist. No, I would never watch that guy. You're both fucking losers. Yeah, yeah, not the first time I've been called that. Maybe come up with some better insults, dumbass. This song is okay, but I don't really like the chorus or the raps that much. You have zero good taste in music, you tone deaf son of a bitch. Actually, boner face, the song pretty much sucks. Now, when I think about it, both the chorus and the raps are below average. D tier for this. Of course, the fake space shit would suck ass. Putting this into the tier. You fucking idiot. Quiet hamster fucker, we got rap god next. Oh, this one goes super cyan. Yeah, what he said, it goes sniper shmian. Such a dick rider, okay. So this song was a masterpiece, honestly. The tempo and the lyrics really stick out to me. I'm beginning to feel like you really don't listen to rap songs. Yeah, you definitely don't listen to rap, bro. Comments you make, just give that up right away. It's honestly a little bit sad in my personal opinion. All right, so what do you think of the song Obama? That was a really cool story and would love to hear you tell it again. Not. Only a baby baboon like yourself would say some shit like that. All of them songs have lyrical genius, but the way the beat goes with this maniacal raps in this song make me want to put it into A tier. That's exactly where I was gonna put it, actually. Okay, moving on. How do you guys like the real Slim Shady? This shit is my anthem, bro. Ain't too many real ass jiggers anymore. Yeah, and you're not one of them, you fucking clone. Talk to me nice, bitch. Listen, I got ops in every part of town. I could have you X'd out real quick. Homie, you couldn't even look an op in the eyes with all the crimes you commit. You're literally a walking Rico case. <sighs> Whoa. You take those words right back into your mouth right now, motherfucker, or I'll sock you right in the kisser. Pow! Says the faggot ass going to prison. Bro, I'm slapping this shit into A tier. It really brings out my aggression in key moments, like when I'm slapping Democrats across the floor of Congress. Keep it kosher, you orange water balloon. You yeah, that was a great point, Obama. So where are you putting rap god ass who? All right, shut up. We're ranking till I collapse next. Yeah, keep dreaming, bro. You couldn't move a rock two feet off of the floor. You weak old man. Fuck nut. We all wish it would happen already. This is like Joe's theme song. Haven't collapsed yet, bitches. Sleepy Joe is the fucking fertilizer of bad ratings, Obama. As soon as he appears, the world would love nothing better than to run away from this meth head. Yeah, well, till the day that I drop, you'll never say that I'm not killing him. We've done enough rapping for uh, one video. Mm, Joe, you gotta leave a chili pepper in the comments if you think Joe's sleepy ass ruins our YouTube rankings. Obama probably plays this to pump himself up before he asks Michael to let him play Minecraft after his bedtime. Okay, so this song is a little too intense, you're right, but great sales teams have used this song to close multi-million dollar deals for me. So we're going A tier. How do you guys like cleaning out my closet? You know, I did have much worse ratings when Joe was part of the program. Bro, my sea captain in the Navy looked at me wrong one day. So I look, it doesn't take a genius to tell that. My iPhone updated again to the new iOS, and that's just not what I would prefer. But Nemo sniffed glue with me and made it all all right, you see. Take the fucking sped helmet off of your head, Joe. How many meth crystals did you put in your chocolate chocolate chip ice cream this morning? This song is great. <laughs> Definitely a hype song, though. It's a little too intense to play all the time. Yeah, not really getting through to this alien. This song makes no sense. Hurting your mother is definitely not cool, and that's all the song is about. You know it's not something I really love, but Kamala makes me clean the closets when I forget what her middle name is. Just something I thought I should mention. Talking about the song, you side bitch. Yes, Joe. <sighs> Fucking pathetic. Yeah, I can't really relate to all the times I heard Marshall apologies to his mother for doing random, insanely fucked up things to her. Uh, that being said, it's an emotionally provoking song. The music where it makes you feel something and tells a story, which is very uncommon now. <laughs> Just for that. I'd go A tier. Oh, you meant the song. And it's a love-hate relationship, bro. Okay, I'm gonna go C tier. What the hell kind of chemical concoction distorted your brain so badly? Bro, this song is pretty terrible. I love my mom. How can you resonate with a song like that? Do you see this, Obama? Joe see it, is trying to give me a psychoanalysis. What the hell is going on here? No wonder why you want to build a wall so bad you have been putting up huge walls in your personal life for years. Ass up backwards. You really have lukewarm level IQ, Joe. Trashed here. On that note, what do you guys think about like toy soldiers? This is for real riders, y'all feel me? Oh, get your gross nerd speak away from me. For a hot pocket and a bagel bite, how do you get the jar off this cap? Holy shit. 
Sometimes I wonder what the fuck Jill even does for you. Why is she even your wife? Dude, you take none of your medication and dude, she's only with you when she's on TV. Well, Obama, what should Jill be doing for me? Putting the strap on, Putting to, work the strap like on to work like Michelle? Damn it, Trump. What the WC tool fuck? <laughs> the song is good, bro. But who still plays with toy soldiers? Those nutcrackers are really creepy, like kids. But when I put my ding dong hash brown inside, it clamps down and hits my wooden sword with some wooden teeth. Youch! Dude, please no. When I was 12, I thought this song went hard. But now I realize it's just kind of whack. Respect to my boy 50, though. Throwing this into D tier, how do we feel about we made you? You know, my cracker ass colleague, this song really brings a similar vibe to Without Me, but just a step behind. I think he just doubled up on his previous wacko success. The wacko success is the best way to do it, bro. Look at how wacky I am. You never know what the fuck I'm gonna do, but you know it's going to be suspect. Yeah, I kind of agree with Obama on this one. Joe can't even articulate a complete thought and I don't mean his speech, I mean his brain is simply unable to fire the correct neurons to make a proper mental connection with any of the words we are saying. Dickhead, how do you know he's not autistic? He never understands any context. You no, know, he understands all too well Obama. He just chooses to be a vegetable and do vegetable things. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna throw this one into B tier. How do we like beautiful? This one is in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, right? No, you dementia-ridden fossil. There is nothing lighthearted about this song. Yeah, really, Joe, you look like Slim Shady when he'll turn 80 years old and you don't even know any of the songs we're ranking. Yeah, I know this song. The beat is heavier than my knees after climbing two stairs. Although this song really hits the heart heavy, it's very somber. Yeah, somber as Obama. He does look quite sullen, doesn't he? Yeah, I look sullen when you see me because I'm 10 seconds away from ending your life. Bing bong. Fuck your life. Where am I putting this? Which hole is your favorite? Shut the hell up, Joe. Putting this into C tier, it's just too sad, and you can't be the everlasting successful Donald Trump and be depressed at the same time. Fucking hell. Michelle is calling me. I gotta go eat some kielbasa. Thanks if you're still watching. Comment part two in the comments, and we'll do a part two with special guest Marshall Mathers. All right, y'all, most people confuse me with Don King, but my name is really King Don. With that being said, Hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll put you onto my favorite thrones. We're ranking chairs, bro, not thrones, you Bowser looking ass. If you think Trump looks like Bowser, put a dinosaur emoji in the comments. Anyone caught commenting a dinosaur emoji in the comments will be executed for treason. Okay, on a lighter note, what do we think about office chairs? So much variety, yet so much similarity at the same damn time. I don't mind office chairs, but they, they really do fuck with your posture. Dog, this is the worst fucking chair that was ever created. I swear all of them, destroy your vertebrae, and I've had thousands, really creates a dilemma for me because when I stand up, I fall down. And when I sit down, I also fall down. And then if I don't fall down and I sit down, instead these chairs make it feel like I'm sitting on a gym class scooter, only it goes much slower and I don't run over my fingers repeatedly until they look like roadkill. All right, it's not that bad, Joe. Don't act like you even sit in an office chair ever, Joe. You haven't sat down to do work since 2010. Still can't remember what you even did, Donald. Oh, you made this peace treaty. Oh, you made that peace treaty. Such a fucking nerd. Huh, nerd get wrecked. Look at these pussy Democrats mad that I bring people together. My heart goes out to all the families whose lives have been destroyed by Obama and his drone strikes and Joe with whatever the fuck is wrong with him. Uh, bro sends out one check to the American people and thinks he's fucking Robin Hood. Yeah, Trump, you're like the office chair of presidents. Always overpriced, uncomfortable, and ends up ruining your entire being. I'm throwing these office chairs into what are those? Tier, okay, what do you guys think about plastic chairs? You stupid fuck, do you even need to ask? Don't ask stupid questions, Joe, although I know that's hard for you. Yeah, all right, fair enough, I'm going S tier. It's like one of the most comfortable and easy to move chairs out there for a cheap price. Always feels great to nap in. Wouldn't you want a leather chair or something more comfortable to nap in, you weirdo? That's what a logical, rational human being would say, but that's not me, bro. Okay, what do you guys think about rocking chairs? Stupid! Nothing says I hate supporting my family like a rocking chair does. Why are you rocking in a chair anyway? Get back to work! Shut the fuck up, Andrew Tate. The rocking chair is a uniquely calming experience, no matter how creepy courage the cowardly dog makes it seem. With your yeah, it's not just for old people, neither. Okay, Joe, don't have a heart attack. I'm not a fan of these. They just make me dizzy. Go trash tier, please. You're fat ass. It probably feels like high tide whenever you move an inch. Yeah, I can confirm. I rode on Donald's shoulders at one of his rallies, 
it felt like Hurricane Irene was happening under my ass. Joe, that was one time, and can you please be more careful with your words? My bad Donald gave me a very bumpy piggyback ride, is what I should say. This is going into C tier because although I enjoy rocking in my chair, there are different strokes for different folks, which is something that someone in a rocking chair would say, look, what do you guys think about beanbag chairs? Obama probably likes them since they are just one big ball sack. For your information, I don't, Trump. These chairs are extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, these chairs are pretty ass. The only positive about these chairs are the memories from back in college when this was all us broke boys had. I remember sitting at an 18 degree angle while all the college hoes flocked around me. I'll take things that never happened for 500, please. Seriously, if I wanted to sit on air, I would just stand up. Okay, easy trash tier for the beanbag chair. What do you guys think about Adirondack chairs? A rancher's best friend, besides me. Oh yeah, I remember my dad had a massive porch at our summer house and he used to sit on homemade Adirondack chairs and admire his natural surroundings. What a touching story, Joe. Except we know you were created in a lab and raised by Secret Service agents. Yeah, I wonder if that actually happened. The way your body sinks back into an Adirondack chair feels similar to my soul leaving my body when Jill sucks me off. Yeah, I like that it forces you to sit back. I'm always sitting forward, ready to make the next million. If you're such a great hustler, why did you go bankrupt so many times? I love when the bank erupts. I take all the money. That was just me with a drone strike. Only way to do it, bro, pops the vault right open. Yeah, really, the big arm rests on the Adirondack chair, make it feel really comfortable, like I'm at the movies, but in nature. You would expect the hardwood to be uncomfortable, but it's actually very soft on your bottom. Much unlike Michelle, who tears that ass up, throw these into S-tier big boy. Not as much as Joe tore your ass up on election night. Ooh, that must burn. Not as much as the Adirondack chairs on your porch that I just torched. Look outside. What? No, my childhood. Donald, I'm throwing these into S tier right now, and you better watch your back. What are you going to do, Joe? Send a bunch of illegal immigrants to my house? Why would you give him any ideas? Fair point. I'll shut up now. But he's still a bitch. I'm going to talk to Hillary and see what I should do now. No, no, no. No, Joe. Please, I'm begging you. You're the best president of all time. What? Oh, really? Tell me more. Joe, I'll suck your toes, sniff your hair. I'll do anything. Just don't talk to Hillary about me, please. I beg you. All right, calm down, pussy boy. I have more chairs in my shed. What do you guys think about chaise loungers? Come on now, the chaise lounger is the best lounge chair there is. Why do you think they put these out on the rooftop pools? Luxury. Luxury schmuxury. These chairs aren't all that a bag of lays, Donald. Yeah, they're even better than that. They're a bag of Funyuns. You using Funyuns as a metaphor for luxury? Are you surprised? What is he on about? Funyun slap? Yeah, whatever, Joe. It's an S tier for me, sleepy fuck. No need to pick each other apart over here, Donald. It's not that serious. These chairs are literally the same thing as laying on a cloud. Very true, Obama. Except there are no sticks on top of clouds. Actually, that's not always true, Donald. Yeah, Trump. How do you know? Anyway, I'd go S tier as well. Okay, I'm gonna put this into S tier before Donald opens his fat yapper again. Watch your mouth, pussy. I've tried, it's not possible. My eyes don't move that far, plus I don't have lips. I look like SpongeBob when he needed water inside of Sandy's bowl. All right, how do you guys like bar stools? Stormy loves, uh, fuck, I slipped up. Like hell you did, bro, but I can definitely relate. Uh, bar stools are pretty cool. It depends on the bar stool. Who the fuck? writes these cards, a bar stool can be anything. My left foot could be a bar stool. Shut up with your old man analogies, Joe. The bar stool is always a solid option, uh, for herbs that is. Real G, sit at the table to eat. Tell me you have the smallest cock here without telling me you have the smallest cock here. My guess is that if you walked into any restaurant right now, the patrons at the bar would absolutely destroy the patrons sitting at tables. Better not run up on me then, pussy. Bar stools are for peasants and for middle schoolers to eat their breakfast on. Precisely why I love them so much. They provide lots of comfort and I can always That's find so kids in the high man. seat. Seriously, Biden, stop it with these creepy fucking comments. Bar stools are pretty cool, but obviously not as good as a typical chair. Plus, the ones without backs are so fucking horrendous to sit on. Obama all about that back dog. Yeah, I definitely feel you on that. We're gonna go B tier. Next up, how do we feel about foldable chairs? Trash, my ass doesn't fit on these. And it also makes it very stiff after a while. 
You'd also think they would be much lighter, but no, these things require a 225 bench press just to move them from the front of my house to the back. You're pretty fat and gay, so that makes perfect sense. Shut the hell up, Obama. I'd go C tier guys. These are chairs and they serve their purpose, but that's it. Please, Donald, they're, they're not that bad. I agree, after sitting in them for prolonged periods of time, your ass starts to get numb. What is it with your asses getting numb? You're built like a damn pipe cleaner, Joe, that's why. All right, yeah, so I'm gonna go B tier with these. They're okay, but with a kid on my lap, it gets too heavy. Christ almighty. Keep Christ's name out your mouth, Obama. He sees you snorting all that blow and slurping all that schnitzel. All right, how do we feel about gaming chairs? Cheap Chinese shit. Can't you ever let anyone get a word in? Maybe if you kept certain things out of your mouth, you could actually get one in, Obama. What are these certain things? Melania's ass is what he was referring to, okay? So the gaming chairs are pretty sweet. Most of them may be from AliExpress and Alibaba, but the chair is pretty nice. Um, it's like a step above an office chair because of its looks and at a cheaper price. However, they're always too narrow. And my NBA wingspan never fits on the armrests. Your chair has armrests, Obama. Lucky guy. They all have armrests, Joe. But you don't have an armrest on your chair right now. Nah, bro, how you think my shoulders are so aki? The only aki thing about your shoulders is the mole on your left rear deltoid. How the fuck do you know this? Joe used to show it to us at our pool parties. It used to creep my kids out. I think there's something you're not telling me. The whole party would turn up when I pulled out my mole. Do you even know Bo Many Hot Bitches took shots off this thing? Zero. Oh, stop, I'm gonna puke. All right, I'm gonna put these into C tier. If you manage to make it through the video and not throw up, you might as well subscribe, bro. If you'll do it once, you'll do it again. All right, peace.